trick on them. Wait, no, hi. hi but I think they're up. playing a trick on me. Am I still playing a trick on you? You're not. I can hear you now. Oh, that's good. What my mute, my my mute was Mike. Your mute was Mike. My mute was Mike. My mute was Mike. That's what I get for at all fucking with the formula for the start of the show. You know, that's I've it. learned something. Four minutes into our work week, I'm not interested in in messing with the patterns that we've already established here. Hey, uh, I vote Nick. we pre-record the whole intro. Just pre-record the whole thing and play it. We could probably pre-record like the entire Isaac segment. I already do. Yeah. That's also true. Nick is here as well. Hello, Nick. Hmm? Happy Monday. Hi. Happy Monday. Or as I like to call it, what day is today? Um, special Gosh, day. Googling what day it is. A li daily listing of today's holidays. You ready? Okay. It's Casimir Pul Pulaski Day. So big ups to you in uh, Illinois. It's International Dentist Day, which just strikes me as something that's like completely bullshit. Yep. No, dentists need love too. So here's the International Dentist Day, March 6th. National Frozen Food Day, March 6th. You want to know a, a day that's gotten a little too big for its britches? Fun facts about Names Day, observed on the Monday of the first full week in March. What the fuck is Frozen Food Appreciation Day? That's a good one. You're gonna like. Yeah, that. eat some ice cream, dude. Oh, I thought they were celebrating like bags of frozen peas. Sorry, what? <laughs> They're That's celebrating true. bags of bags frozen, of frozen peas. peas. It's also National White Chocolate Cheesecake Day, which was my oh. rap name back in high school. Anyway, we're gonna play some Afterbirth Plus, uh, and then we're gonna play some uh, whatever comes after Afterbirth Plus, which is Sonic, and then we're gonna play some uh, after that. We're gonna play some Quiplash. Hey, Rive, check your check your chat. Yes. Do you mean Discord or do you mean chat? No, you mean chat. Yeah. Okay. You see that? You oh, there you go. Just missed it. 40, you 40 it? something months in a row. 45 That's fucking That's crazy, Josh. Isn't that stupid? That is actually dumb. It's like, it's like, that's like 10 years. You're paying that's the, like as long as I've known you. You're paying the Twitch tax for uh, knowing yeah. me. <laughs> I like it. That's like, I get these emails like once a month at 1 a.m. And it's like, hey, your subscription to Bear Taffy renewed. And I'm like, God. Who? I know, dude. I gotta <laughs> nip that shit in the bud, man. Like, yeah. Wait, is Be is wife Taffy here? You didn't hear that. All right, mm. Nick, do you want to provide us with a seed? Eden, Seeden, here we go. Eden, Seeden. You don't have to listen, Josh. Why? Why eight two p? Why eight two p? Because I was hungry. Z p three four. I don't get it. Yeah, I was like, I was thinking of like some kind of urinary C-3PO joke, but it didn't really come together. Mm. Dude's already covered in gold. He <laughs> is? Well, no, did you think that C-3PO's uh, always been all gold? Nope. In uh, everything yeah, but the... Yeah, unfortunate re rendezvous with Donald Trump. <laughs> in everything but the remasters, he's got the uh, one red leg. It's an arm. He no. has a red leg? He has he has one different colored leg in the in the the originals. No it's, way. It's, yeah, it's like a silver or something. Yeah, like go that. look at the pictures, dude. Is that for real? I didn't know that. Yeah, that's for real. Well, I mean, none of it's for real. You well, it's all that's fake. In the movie, though, like if I look at the movie, I'll see he's got a weird leg. So you know who's who's my favorite Jedi? If if you had to guess, who's NL's favorite Han Jedi? Solo. Now that's oh, just insulting. Oh, oh, oh. Solo. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Mm, uh, my favorite though. Jedi is Mace Windu. This is ridiculous. It's not Mace Windu. Why is that ridiculous? What? Who's oh, the Jedi I talk about the most on the show? Uh, I don't care. Um, I know Josh knows. Uh, you can describe him if that's better. Is the Conehead Man. Conehead Man. Kiati Mundi. Um, yeah, Kiati Mundi. <laughs> Kiati Mundi, of course. How the I would have got it? But I... Uh, someone, well, I think it was Amir Ramani, who sends us like a bunch of stuff in the P.O. box, sent me a Ki Adi Mundi action figure from wow. 2006, and it just made me lose all faith in the toy industry because it's Ki Adi Mundi from episode one where he's a hologram on the Jedi Council. <laughs> yeah. But what that means is that he's actually just like unpainted and made out of blue resin. It's like the oh, actual the like shit. laziest action figure I've ever seen in my life, and as a result, I am in love with it. It's yeah. actually like the greatest thing <laughs> I've got. It took a turn at the end. I didn't expect. It's just an unpainted 
action figure. Because it's unpainted, you, you, you wouldn't be able to tell that it was Kiati Mundi, except for the fact that, I mean, his head's a fucking cone, you know? Like, this Streamlabs shit, so. they just fucked everything, didn't they? What's your problem, No, Josh? they made it dark. Well, no, but like they, they changed all the things for like the widgets and shit. Did they? Yeah. Oh, are you saying we don't have widgets now? Yeah, so you got no like alerts and shit. I think mine are I, popping up, aren't Mine they? are working. Really? Why is mine stupid? Oh, did you never change? You had to change the URL when it was Twitch alerts to Streamlabs. Mm. Oh, yeah, I did. Change no, it, it's, it, it's, it is. It might have broken. Well, oh, you did that. I hate to do this, guys, but like you're going to have to subscribe so we can test and see if the alerts yeah. work. So, like, Sorry I hate to say that. it, but. Hmm. Hey, this is an all right seed. Did you start and with um, Magic other. Mush on this one? Yeah, Magic Mush, and I just got small rocks, so, and then concussive tears, so it's like three damage ups on one run. Some decent stuff. Oh, yeah, it's totally working. Well, I mean, just because, like, two people subscribed and it works, but there's no way to know, like, if that's enough, you know? There's this very weird line of code in it that, like, it'll break after 25 sometimes, yeah. and, like, there's I have to know if that's going to trip or not. Alright, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Anyways, I just anyways. muted myself. These guys are all suckers. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean it's still on? King Kong ain't got what? nothing on me! You're a wild dude. I'm not that wild, that. actually. So loud? I'm sorry, I didn't know it was gonna be so loud. It was It was more than I expected. Are you okay? Josh, I got a question for you. Yeah? How's your weekend? What? Dude, all, all I fucking did was play, play Zelda. Zelda. Yeah, like, me too, oh. man! <laughs> and it was amazing. Fuck. It's like all I did. Did you, you, you have right. it? I'm so sorry. Nah, it's supposed to come today. What do you mean it's supposed to come today? Like, our Switch is supposed to come today. Our order got cancelled on uh, Friday. The day that it was supposed to like be here. So oh, we were like, yeah, hey. We were like, hey, Best Buy, what's up with this? And they're like, oh, we're like, hey, give us a Switch. And they're like, alright, we'll send one out as soon as we can. So it's supposed to be like shipped today. Or shipped, uh, shipped on Friday, like later in the afternoon. <laughs> Weird. Isn't it? I mean, it doesn't really bother me. Listen, I'm, to be honest with you, Zelda's too big for me. I've been watching these people play Zelda. I, it, it's too much pressure for one video game. It's a masterpiece. It's a master. I don't care. I want to yeah, say that it's really good. It's not a masterpiece. It's really good. I want to kill. <laughs> Wait, this is not what I meant to say. Who, I who wa do you want to kill? Look. Yeah, tell me more about who that's you're from my kill. other stream on Hitbox, where things get a little dark sometimes. Hitman oh. box. Hit Hitman box. Exactly correct. Is that like the man Fuck Hitbox. of the vagina? I'm moving to Hitman Box. <laughs> okay. Um, Hitman Box. But like I'm going to like... Man box. I was thinking like, I want to milk some cows in like 1-2 Switch. You're going to milk cows. Yeah. And then you can milk okay. anything with nipples, including you know, horses. You know what I was actually thinking is going to be like the ideal experience for the Switch for me? Because I'm an idiot. I yeah. think like I'm going to download like... Do they have WarioWare Mega Micro games on the Virtual Console on Switch yet? Because the Virtual Console doesn't exist on the Switch oh, yet. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they deleted it. It might not for a long time either. Jesus. Because I was really like, hey, I can have like a big Game Boy Advance I can carry onto the airplane, <laughs> and I can, I, play, I can play WarioWare Mega Micro games, the greatest game of 2004. You know, you, I don't know if you're joking, but I actually really did like that game. WarioWare! Like, enough to agree with you on that. Yo, it's like Nintendo's best property, man. It's the perfect... It, it's like Nintendo's Isaac. Except instead of every run being 45 minutes long, it's literally like 4.5 seconds yeah. long. It's my ideal it's video really game. It's really good. I, I actually have been meaning to play through the GBA one again. Kate's been uh, playing The DS it. one just wasn't quite as good, but it was like still pretty good. Dude, that game is... Even the Wii version, where like sometimes like someone would call you on the telephone and you try to pick it up by simulating picking up a phone on the Wii mode and it doesn't recognize it and you lose as a result. I was still like, I mean, this is pretty good. What did I expect, right? Virtual Console is going to be on the Switch in December. Oh, is that all? That's too. That's too long, man. Well, maybe they'll have two or three new games on it by then. Kate actually, she's like, I want to play one of the old Zeldas. So what's like the no, most don't. renowned Zelda? And I was like, probably Ocarina of Time. And then she's like, what about this one? She showed me A Link to the Past. And I was like, oh, yeah, oh no, that's the one. People you love A Link to the They're both both very, very well respected. But I, I thought she meant like Zelda 2 old Zelda. No, 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 no. no. Zelda 2. And then she was like, 
they won't let me buy it on the virtual console because you need to be on a new 3DS in order to play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, a game that came out in, like, 1993. The new 3DS? What? Why? I I actually don't understand. (laughs) All that's different about it is it's got, like, a slightly better way of tracking your face for the 3D, and it's got, um... Another analog stick. Yeah, I, I it's got more processing power, I think, but like... Oh, it does, yeah, slightly more. I imagine both of them are probably like, you know, cranking out a lot of cycles over an SNES. The original DS, the first one that came out, you could run emulators on it. Mm, okay. So, like, there's no reason for that. The SNES emulator is only on 3DS? So you can't play, like, any Super Nintendo games on the old 3DSs? Wait, I don't... Weird. I don't know what they're talking about. Like, Virtual Console does not support SNES? On the original 3DS? That's really strange. That's a little weird. Is Josh okay? I've been wondering the same thing. Yeah, I'm alright. I was just checking. How's Zelda working out for you? By the way, I don't don't care about Zelda. What I do want to talk about is you posted a picture from uh, a bar slash restaurant this weekend. Yes. There was a cocktail list. Yes. I've been meaning to put you on blast for this for two days. No, it's okay because I, I obviously created the cocktail list, so. I know, I mean, I know you didn't, but you might have had it. No, no, but it, like, so. it's, it's assumed that I did. Yeah, but, but I mean, like, I mean, you gave them, question, but I mean, you gave them your money, so. You I gave mean, them, actually, I didn't give them shit. It was on the house. It was so. on the house? Wow. Damn, dude. Big man. Is it because I tweeted about them? Yeah, you know, no. their, their business blew up as a result. Like, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Yeah, yeah. You ever, you ever hear of a little place got, called they got Quiznos? The Lion bump. <laughs> you ever hear of a little game called Minecraft? <laughs> that's yeah. us. We did that. Not just writing a book, you know. Really? Um, yeah. It's there's, a meme how to say... there's just a horrible joke that fits due to the name of the game that he made that I don't want to make, but I can't get out of my head until someone makes it. I uh, can't get out of my head. Was I out of my head? Right. Was I out of my, my mind. mind? How can How I have ever have been, been so mine? I was mine. Well, I ain't nobody but I tell what I find. Yeah. Losing my sight. Losing Lose my, my mind. Wish somebody, Wish somebody would, would tell me would I'm, tell I'm mine. I'm fine. No, I'm mine because it's about I'm Minecraft. Mine Minecraft. What? Because <laughs> he's not. You made Minecraft. Well, I mean, we made Minecraft, but he developed it. That's bullshit. Well, we made it. We made it. We made it, you know? I made it. Oh, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. We're doing, like, a lot of levels of quick jumping through these jokes. It's that was oh, some yeah, rapid I'm fire. I'm not talking about that. I'm, oh, talking, okay. about, I'm talking about this this rocket in Isaac. You got rocket bombs? Yeah. Wait, it's, it's, wait, wait, wait. He almost got me. <laughs> <laughs> He's not playing Isaac at all, is he? he what are you talking about? This Wait, is what, all I'm playing. What are you playing, though? Kerbal Space Program. Whoa, dude, sick. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I Going like that game, space though. on, like, a pre-made rocket. Did they ever let you change the Kerbals into, like, reskinned versions of minions so you could blow them up and watch them oh, die? I, uh, I didn't mean for that to happen. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. You're, <clears throat> you're letting him off the hook too easily on this cocktail list. Cause oh, yeah. Because... The cocktail list, you can find it, Josh tweeted about it. All of the ingredients listed on the cocktail list, like, it would be like, oh, you can have, like, a whiskey old-fashioned, and then it's like, whiskey, lime cordial, you know, maraschino cherry. Here's the, here's the rub. They didn't put any spaces between any of the words and the ingredients on the cocktail list, as if they went to a print shop and they were like, well, you know, the spaces are gonna be an extra... 15 cents each, and they're like, you know what? I never think we need those anyway. What are they ever done for Chargered us? Chargered by the characters, the like charge- a newspaper? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, what do you got to say for yourself, Josh? Pops is in chat. He yeah. was there. What does he have to say for himself? I don't know. Pops, like, he, he got a beer, so like he didn't get a cocktail. I just got a water, so I didn't get a cocktail. Oh, it's on Mom the house. got a beer. Yeah, and, but like, our, my, my aunt, yeah. like, co-owns the joint. Right. So like, that's like. I'm not fully sure I understand what we're roasting Josh over right the now. The cocktail like, list. He's, he's roasting me over a fucking menu that it I didn't It was not make. written. Is, in this, the, is this like the Tesoro's bullshit where you're going to yell at me for not creating uh, the menu? Oh, that has I, I didn't yell at you for that one. Chat yelled at you. They said, <laughs> you, were, you, wish you, they said you were wrong. They said you were wrong. <laughs> I bet you wish you could. 
don't know how to fuck to play Kerbal Space Program. You ever try to play <laughs> this a game? It's very weird. complicated game sometimes. Very, like, I just wish it was easier. Yeah. I wish there was an arcade version of Kerbal Space Program. Mm. Like, I watched them play it on, like, Giant Bomb the other day. Yeah. And, like, honestly, if those guys can do it, there's no reason in hell that I can't. Don't flatter yourself. But, yeah, that's and that's what I get because I'm real bad at this thing. <laughs> It just takes a little bit of foreknowledge before you get into it too far. I, I maybe think I it's very much start capable. with like the tutorial or something. Oh you know? yeah, you think yeah. maybe you know. Good idea. Fox is pretty good at that game, right? And he played all the time. Yeah. Fox is actually like a smart guy, though. Oh, I know that. He doesn't get a lot of credit for it. I mean, in many ways, he's actually an idiot. But well, I'm... yeah, he goofs around a lot. It doesn't mean he's not That's smart. That's exactly correct. He, he goofs around a lot. But he goofs? From an engineering standpoint, he's full of goof goop. He's, mm. he's like actually chock full of goof goop. It's coming out of his freaking ears. <laughs> when it like comes a marshmallow to. Marshmallow surprise. When it comes to process <laughs> management, he's actually like a genius. Like, if you asked me like five years ago, would you ever like run a business with Malf? I'd be like, are you out of your mind? Are you out of your hand? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Um, but now I'd be like, dude, he should run the business and not hire me. The only thing that would make me not want to work with Malf is if he wanted to work with an idiot like me in the first place. Mm. He's He's got bigger ambitions. This week he's mopping floors, next week it's the fries. That makes sense. Is it because of his cooking ability? Because that makes you trust someone a lot, and it makes them seem very responsible when they know how to cook. I mean, he does... he does cook. I don't he's really. He's got that like caregiver thing about him. Like he, he can does. take care of you. He's he is very caring. But to be honest with you, I don't respect the cooking thing because like. Oh. I think I think that is just a blatant disrespect for like um. You know his own time. Dude took like an hour and a half to make his freaking coleslaw for the fish and chips. It was getting a little ridiculous, you know. He's he's indulging in in it because I don't think he does that that much. I mean, I guess so. It was like. This dude's weekends aren't precious to him? It was getting a little silly. That's how much he cares about the food. He's willing to give up that time. Hmm. It's, it's more like, I don't know. Sometimes when he talks about, like, his job, I'm like, this guy's pretty smart. He could definitely run, like, a subway. I mean, what does that take? Oh, we're out of lettuce. Chop some more lettuce. Most of the time when he talks about his job, it's stories like how his friend took a ham out of the garbage and then... Uh, yeah, that, that wasn't out. his friend, okay? That, that was... was well, his, his acquaintance That was just a dude who worked there. Yeah, I guess I would know if it was his friend. That would be different. He's, he's a MILF, a MALF I'd like to work for. <laughs> Subway doesn't chop lettuce? Bullshit! They're in the back chopping that lettuce! Don't they have a machine? They just put the lettuce in and just oh, chop it for you? See, that doesn't bother me. I'd be okay with that. If it comes pre-shredded... doesn't bother me at all. If it becomes pre-shredded, I'd be like... You know, that's, slight, that's like a one knock on Subway. You know, you're going from an A++ to an A+, in my mind. Oh, well, well, how many knocks is it when we found out their chicken's 50% soy protein? I thought it was like zero. Oh, yeah. We started out at one, and then we worked our way back to zero. So never mind. Moving on. Josh, you okay, man? Yeah, yeah. I think you're like you're lost in space, like Matt LeBlanc. I is that a movie that he was in space? Yeah, he played um, Joey in space in Lost in Space. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, what's the title of that movie? <laughs> That's weird. It's called Joey's Lost in Space, Joey. starring Matt LeBlanc. Hmm. All right. Just Joey, I thought it was. Did you like it? No, that movie's like really bad. Oh. All right. This is, I guarantee, this is where chat goes, Fuck you, NL! That movie was great! No. You were five. The movie's bad. I'll just say, you're high as hell, and you get to figure out who's high as hell. <sighs> He's done it. See, like, the problem with, like, Kerbal Space Program, in, like, the tutorial section, is, is like, it's That you keep boring. getting older, and they stay the same age. Yeah, that too. It's boring, but also, like, they don't even... You don't get to the best bits, which is the, like, going to other planets part at all. No, that's not the best bits. The best bits is fucking crashing into a ravine. Yo, you guys don't oh. understand. If you have the Minions mod on, yeah. Getting to <laughs> space is not about strapping into the rocket and just going to space. It's the, it culmi is. It's the culmination of all sorts of, like, little uh, things first. Not at all. 
I it's disagree. about going to space. First, you gotta yeah. learn not to throw up. Then you've gotta. I mean, it's easier to teach Try drillers to, yeah. how to go to space than it is to teach astronauts to drill. So, are you sure? I'm imagining that if you're an astronaut, that drilling course must be pretty intense. Mm. You're like, I mean, I learned how to like fly a spaceship in space and stuff like that, but how to point the drill at the ground and press the button? That's like a. That's that's a whole new world. Yeah. Absolutely. I wonder if they know where the device is. I hope so, dude. I hope so, too. You know when they come back into into orbit, they just, like, crash into the ocean? That must suck. They don't crash. That, that's, sort of like, Apollo 13 era. Now they land in, like, the Kazakhstani oh. desert or something like that. That's right. oh, which is worse, water or, or desert? <laughs> drown in sand, drown in water, it's all drowning in the same. I think I'd rather land in the Kazakhstani desert. You don't like the Kazakhstani desert. I love the Kazakhstani desert. Lord Almaty. I love the Kazakhstani. See, Almaty is the second largest city in Kazakhstan. After is the capital. True? Astana. I yeah. don't think that you're telling the truth. They lost the Olympic bid for 2022 to Beijing, buddy. And you hate that? Yeah, I'm like Beijing Why? just had the Olympics in 2008. They shouldn't get another oh, one in 2022. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely, I'm sure. I don't believe you. I'm pissed. Did you do, like, memory training stuff when you were a kid, or is this just, like, natural for you? I was an only child. So was I. I have a shit memory. Ah, uh, isn't that hard? You just, you know, just don't Your let memory's things... memory's pooping? Just don't let yeah. things disappear. Memory is, like, basically, like, a sieve. What have I done? We should play sieve. I doubled oh, the guillotine. we, like, take some pasta out and then see how much of it keeps the water in? Uh... Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, Chad, oh, how does fuck. he remember everything? I want to try it. Well, all I'll say about that is two heads is better than one, buddy. Is that true? He's got a mind palace, I bet. I don't have a mind. I think that mind what? palace is bullshit. I think Darren Brown's selling you a fucking bill of sale. Hmm. So that's fake, too? Well, at least someone's getting money, right? Fake. Orange juice is fake. Vitamins are fake. Okay, mind palaces look. are fake. Is anything real? I'm not suggesting... <laughs> That orange juice is fake. I'm just suggesting that if you <laughs> if you're already sick, drinking orange juice isn't gonna help you unless it's the placebo effect. And I, I have know, I should probably stop miscarriage. I've got that. great <laughs> respect for the placebo effect, <laughs> to be funny? honest with you. Mind palace is not fake. Why don't you show me your fucking mind palace then? That didn't work. Oh well uh, it's... I don't buy You've it. You've been shot and you have to decide which direction to fall. You have ten seconds. Go. Mm, well, if I'm a bear, I'm not falling backwards. Cause that's, that's right! That's not plausible. Apparently, there was a, there's like an NFL player this weekend who was tweeting. He's like, I think I could kill a wolf if I got in a one-on-one -on -one fight. <laughs> I'm, I don't know how somehow we keep infecting like the, the fabric of reality with our bullshit, but there's like people... I got like dozens of tweets that were like, yo, check this dude out. He's saying he can fight a wolf. And I was like, probably could, dude. He's in the he's in the NFL. He's got a better That's chance pretty, than I do. Yeah, his odds are better. All for right. sure. Why is it red coming into the boss room? Is I it went red to the coming boss into rush the room gym? and it's red. I've never seen this before. Mm, you ever weird. seen that? It's like as if I was going to the womb or something, or to the, the hush fight through the door is just red. Oh, hmm. dude. I totally had a story, okay? Alright, okay. tell me your story. An anecdote. So, maybe we can save the show. Yesterday, I saw Logan. Not International How'd you Airport. Like it? I thought it was probably. I mean, people like. The best movie ever. Well, they're like, it's not a Marvel movie. Marvel Studios didn't make it. It's just financed by. You know, okay. I thought it was like the, the best thing I've seen with Marvel attached to it. I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, what about but, Deadpool? I thought it was. I, I like Deadpool. That Deadpool is like a 7 or an 8. Logan is <laughs> exceptional. What about Iron Man? Iron Man 1 is probably like a 9. I think Logan is, is better. Fuck. Are you sure? But you may remember, I like it more than Civil War as well, which I went to bat for about 90 times last year I don't on this show. That, but anyway. I like Civil War. I love Thank it. You. But I, I think this, it's up there. It's either Civil War or uh, Logan up there right now. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah. I, you might remember that on the show last week, I was talking about um, D-Box. And I was like, it's the dumbest shit I've ever done in my life. 
It's like it's seven D theaters. It's the seven D theaters. It just shakes the Christ out of you, right? So it sprays on the back of your ankle, right? This one that doesn't kind of do that. It just shakes. Hits the, you with a little bejesus out of, of you. Plastic. No, it just the chair just shakes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, but it shakes a lot, and it kind of like pivots. Right, it's, it's no Vancouver Aquarium. We can I, say that exactly. Much. You all right, Kate? Yeah, are you fun. saying Logan made you insomnia? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> My wife just outed me for getting like three hours of sleep last night. I thought I've been holding it together pretty well. Yeah, you seem fine. Yeah, I appreciate that. Wait, why Thank you only you. get three hours of sleep? I just say I couldn't sleep. Why? That was it? You just couldn't sleep? It anyway, happens sometimes. It just, okay? it just, I'm fine. It just happens sometimes. Do you sometimes. need me? Do you no, need me I'm all right, Josh. You? Are I'm you a, sure? Josh, I'm all right, to be honest with you. You would tell me, though, right? Of course. Now, what I'm going to say here is that when I saw Ant-Man in D-Box, it was... Um, you saw Ant-Man in D-Box. This is like Did two years ago. Tiny? Just slow. I have the floor, okay? I have the floor. Um, when I saw Ant-Man... holding something. In, when I saw Ant-Man in D-Box, it was like... It just kind of moved you around a little bit. It wasn't like a, a noteworthy experience at all. And I was like, this is not worth like the $8 a ticket. And then when I saw Logan in D-Box last night, it was worth the $8 a ticket, but only because I was like, holy fuck. It actually shook the shit out of me. It, like, the movie, <laughs> op the movie opens with like a, a pretty brutal action set piece. So I'm settling in, you know. We, we had a big dinner before we went to the movie theater. And then I'm just like, oh, this is going to be nice. You know, watch a little X-Men movie. No big deal. Then all of a sudden, it's just like... Brrr, brrr, like shaking the Christ out of you oh and like God. rocking you back and forth like you're on an actual roller coaster. And I was like, my God, this is... It sounded like Ethan Klein just got triggered. It was the first... <laughs> I'm not saying the D-Box was $8 a ticket. I'm saying it was $8 above the cost of a normal movie ticket. So these were like... Eight additional dollars. Yeah, these were like $22 movie tickets or something. But That's then, like... It, I mean, it's pricey. But then, like, the first... I couldn't even focus on the first scene because I was like, am I going to be okay? Like, I had to make sure my teeth were together so they weren't, like, bouncing off each other for the first <laughs> section. It was actually crazy. Should yeah. offer you a free retainer or something to make sure you don't this, chip a tooth. Like I looked over at Kate and I was like, <laughs> I gotta stop. Uh, like I'm trying to stop myself from laughing. I'm looking at the other people in the D box row and I'm like, this is. There is no way that anybody is enjoying this right now. Beyond that, if you're sitting behind the D box row and you're watching the people in front of you get rattled like crazy, <laughs> and the seats are actually going like, brr, brr, and like, like, dude, those are like the worst seats in the house. Why? Well, I, I can't imagine a world where someone right? like put, like thought it was That's a good idea. Right. Right, let's get some of the, these moving seats and get them in here with like the normal seats. They're not yeah, even well, like at the back. Idea. They're in like they're like three quarters of the way up. So there's like normal seats in front of it and normal seats behind it. Yeah. That's awful. That's hilarious. They are big seats though. Like that, you do get like the captain's chair sort of seating. And if you you can turn the chair off, I think. But like oh. But then you act, you pay extra money. I paid for yeah, a bigger seat. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, but I also, I mean, I more leg room too. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like most like modern theaters, they got enough leg room for me. Not not since I was like thirteen years old have I been like I want to put my legs on the seat in front of me. Well, sometimes uh, you want to stretch your legs forward a bit. Can't always do that. Oh, what do you think, Josh? It seems like you're about to say something we we can riff on a little bit here. I I like put it. I like sitting in like the front row the front of, row no, no 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 listen listen the front row of like the high up area so like you're not like down on like, the ground level you got to go up the <clears> stairs <throat> i like, see the first I see. level up the stairs because you want that railing in front of you and then you put your feet up on there and then you're not disturbing anybody i can understand except, like, the world I, except I like the uh floor. the the theater people they come in and be like hey get your feet off of there they and do they're like yeah they do it all the time to me oh they just exploded but they're <laughs> fine don't worry about it I wonder why that exploded like that. that was weird. What's the worst seat you've ever had for a a movie? Front um, row all the way on the right in the right corner and by myself. Follow up question, what was the movie? Saw two. Wow! That was extremely unexpected. <laughs> it was I think I've even mentioned this before in the NLSS, but I got ditched. I was gonna be, uh, I was going to the movie to see it with a bunch of people, and they all just like bailed, and I already bought the ticket, so I just went in. And all the seats were taken because I was waiting for them, so I just right, got the yeah. last one that was left. That makes sense. It was awful. Hurt my neck, too. <laughs> what year did I turn 21? <clears throat> uh, 2009. 
Really? Yeah. All right. So August 2009. Movies. Because I had this. I forget what August movie it was. August 2009 movies. All right. Inception. No. Borat. Wait, Bruno. Maybe was it? It couldn't have been the goods. There's only two movies that came out. You saw the goods in no, no, theaters? No, 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 no I did it. In was it Inglorious Bastards? You could have been. That's, That's the, a good one. the years I think right. that was it. I saw Inglorious Bastards. I was hungover. Nice. From my 21st birthday, and we sat real close to the to the screen. I remember not liking that. So that was probably the worst. Uh, at least it was a good movie, though. At least it was a good movie, though. I saw... I think it was that. In 2002... It might have been District 9. Look, this is irrelevant now. I saw... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I saw Die Another Day. Are you sure it was 2009? Am I sure what is you know 2009? What, maybe, you know what, maybe, you know because like, in my mind, I was like... I think it was a Tarantino film. But, like, this makes sense if Inglorious Bastards was it. Yeah, it's around that time, dude. Halloween 2 also came out. Halloween as well. But that doesn't make any sense. Look, dude, it's like, so there's, irrelevant. Are you telling me that there's two Halloween 2s? Yes. That's fucked. It is pretty silly. Um, I saw in 8th grade, I saw Die Another Day on opening night at like 10 p.m., which was pretty exciting for me. No chaperones either. Seeing, it, seeing a nice grown-up movie like Die Another Day, which, by the way, when I left the theater, I was like, Best Bond movie ever. Right, of course. They all, they all are when you see them in the theater. How can it get better than Die Another Day? Tell me you've got Halle Berry, Pierce Brosnan, the best Bond in human history, and then a hotel bad. made out of ice, and he goes windsurfing to escape from a laser beam that causes an Antarctic tsunami. But I... wind surfing. I like that. <laughs> I sat um, with like, you know, three or four friends at the very, very front row on the right, just like you, Nick. Uh, basically, my neck like was broken at the end of the evening. They, they shouldn't have a seat there. I'm, I'm with just you, dude. Carve the seat away and put a trash can there. There just shouldn't be seats at the front. In that row at all. Like when you walk into a movie theater, there's always like you look to your left and it's El Dorado. There's like 20 rows of seats that go back, and they're all pretty good. And then you look to your right, and there's like four rows of like... Th those tickets, you should get free popcorn if you sit there or something yeah, like that. But that's like a $15 value, so they wouldn't give that away. I don't know. Why do they look different before you put them on? That's so fucking weird. Oh, Are I know. Condoms? I'm aware that Die Another Day is bad. No. It just took me a while to realize it. I also saw... Did you like? All right, what's everyone's favorite Die Hard movie? Well, fuck my story, I guess. It's I don't care about your story. Well, I just wanted this. You'll like this because you had like a million years to say your dumb stuff. We want. Well, that's because you interrupted me every two seconds to be. Oh, was it Inglorious Bastards or District Nine? Nobody cares. It doesn't matter. It's it's tangential to the story. Tell me. You tell me what you're gonna say right now. We won tickets last minute from the radio station in 2003 to watch the premiere of Austin Powers Gold Member. But because we were like the last people, <laughs> I told you it was no, good. <laughs> because we were like the last people to win, we had to sit like almost at the very, very front of the theater. Oh, and, lame. You know, I'm definitely Austin Powers Gold Member is one of those movies you want to see in theaters so you can really experience all the action the rap on the part big screen. Was so good. <laughs> and then you're in jail and Mini Me's rapping. I also, you know, I left that and I was like, best Austin Powers movie ever. Like. Yeah. Apparently, seeing something in the theater as a child is like it adds like four points to any movie on a out of ten scale. Yeah, I remember loving Batman Returns when I was a little kid, and then I couldn't take it seriously. That ever movie's again not that it. bad, though. Mm. How do you get? No, Josh. What's your favorite Die Hard movie? What is your? I I asked I asked first. So you I think we we actually talked about this with Rob. Really? Uh, well, number one, right? Isn't that? The one to like. Well, there's, there's a there's Rob was like two. one and three are the best. I would agree with Rob. There you go. I've only seen one and four. Hilarious enough. Uh, Why? Why? It was 
Oh, yeah, no, okay, I remember. It's building, airport, taxi. Yeah, one and three, one and three. There's not that many trilogies that go one and three, huh? Rocky. Just kidding. Two was really good. <laughs> yeah, and, like, Rocky gets worse for a long time. And then Rocky IV is either the... It's either the peak or the trough, depending on your perspective, I suppose. Yeah. So I've still only seen uh, one Rocky, the original Rocky. Well, that's, should that's a I great just one. skip to like Rocky Five? You should really go one four Balboa Creed. One four Balboa Creed. One right, four put that in the Balboa mind Creed. Everybody. I mean, two's not. Is that the McGillicuddy order or whatever? Me do the. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was Lou Bega, Mama Number Five. I see. That's what you think. Rocky V is not the best. Rocky V is by far the worst. Oh, that's the one I picked at random. Right. Lo Lord of the Rings 1 and 3 are the best? Yeah, but it's not like 2 is bad. I've never finished 3. <laughs> I can't sit through it. It's, it bores me to sleep every time I there, watch it. I mean, Return of the King is a genuine masterpiece, <laughs> but like, yeah. I even to this day, I'm like... You should have ended this movie a little earlier. <laughs> like, there's just, there's so many, like, fake outs. Oh, you know what? Chat's right. Um, Men in Black goes one and three. Oh, you're right. Yeah, totally true. That's, yeah. there's so few examples. Let's say the Matrix does not. We don't like the Matrix. Matrix goes one and done. Does, yeah, one and done for sure. Absolutely true. Neither of the, right. none of the Star Wars sets go one and three. Mm, you're right. Yeah. You're, you might be skipping Attack of the Clones, but in the other direction, you're skipping. Uh, you're skipping uh, the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Oh, what about and the third of the the third of the prequels is good. I I like it, but there are people. There, the problem is that movie is hard to defend. I actually like that movie more than Return of the Jedi, if I'm being honest, but at the same time, it's an indefensible opinion because there are moments in it that are really ridiculous. Like, well, oh, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil and he killed younglings, you know? Like, there's there's some laughable moments in that movie, but by and Birds large, I think it's... Birds little, little kids. That's yeah. not cool. Yeah, but then Ewan McGregor's, Ewan McGregor's line is like... I did not murder him! Yeah, Ewan McGregor in iRobot was... He's fucking killer, dude. Wait a minute. I, I mean, he did not be. kill her. Cause solid fuel, right? That being said, I think I did like episode three more than most of the Star Wars movies. If you like Xenon, if if episode three isn't your favorite of the prequels, I actually can't take you seriously because there are, aren't any other options. There are people who are like, well, episode three <laughs> takes itself too seriously. <laughs> episode one is just silly. No, episode one is just really bad. Three's the only one that was actually a movie. Three's got a chance. Episode one is like Jar Jar Binks tripped over his own glands and saves the Empire. It's... <laughs> That's Paul what happened to his own deep vagina. It's like if Johnny Knoxville wrote Star Wars. It just doesn't... And he will. I don't know why I said one Star day. Wars like that, but... Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. You know what I mean? Two is the best of the prequels. I mean, that's just what ridiculous. Is... The fudge. You don't have a chance with two. I still think you can't two... can't even come to the fight with a two. In my opinion, two is still better than one. But it is like you're taking like a two out of ten versus a two and a half. Like... I don't get it. But that was a better example, honestly. Because, yeah, when I saw episode one in theaters, I was still, you know, kid. Oh, and dude, seemed yeah. pretty exciting at the time. Hmm. I mean, I even bought the Phantom Menace PS1 game. Right, yeah. We were pretty young, though. I mean, I was like, I think I was like 10 or 11 when Episode 1 came out, yeah. so. Pod racing was still cool as shit. Yeah. Can't really take that away. I had to explain this to Kate, and I didn't really have an answer. Because, you know, we saw Rogue One, and I was like, that movie's pretty good. And then. She's like, I thought it was one of the best of, of all the Star Wars films. And I was like, you know what? When I look at it, you're pretty much right. It's it's like a franchise. It's kind of similar to James Bond in that, like, almost half of the movies are not well respected at all. Even by people who are super fans, but it's still, like, really popular. Like, even The Force Awakens now, people are like, ah, it's just a rehash. You know, it's trash. Thanks a lot, J.J. Abrams. But, you know, it's... Wow, it, they're onto it being trash already? I didn't know that. Actually. Well, like... Overrated, maybe. Okay. That was alright. 
Yeah, I'm like, I, I thought it was... Better than the prequels, mostly. I agree with that. I thought it was pretty good. I haven't seen Rogue One still. It's pretty good. I heard it was one of the best. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can you please talk, or never talk about Star Wars again? Hey, uh, I own a limited edition Ki-Adi Mundi holographic uh, <laughs> action figure, so... I think I'm pretty much a super fan. Really? Yeah. Dude, That's I've got cool. I've got holographic Kiati Mundi from Remember when he was at the Jedi Council in episode 1 and he advises them not to train Anakin Skywalker because he's too he's too old? Huh. He that was, was you? That that was me. I was Kiati Mundi, yeah. But oh, you know weird. it's ironic because if you look at Kiati Mundi's backstory, Kiati Mundi was also considered too old to undergo the Jedi trials, but he was ah, a what a hypocrite! Exactly, dude. But then in the end, you're like, damn, dude, Kiati Mundi was right. They shouldn't have trained Anakin. What did Yoda have to say about all that He's, shit? Yoda sensed in him much fear, but Qui Gon said, "Just listen here. Stick it in your pointy ear. I still will teach this boy." He did but, say that. Well answered, I will say. <laughs> And he had an egghead. That is true. He had a great egg! Wow. Wow. I guess this should go here. And that should go. What's Can the best Bond movie now that we've done Die Hard? I. I've seen all of the ones considered to be classics. So I've seen, you know, Dr. No and Thunderball from Russia with Love. I still think it's Casino Royale. Dude, I was going to say Casino Royale. Casino Royale is a, is a wonderful film. I thought I was going to be crazy for saying that. Because I actually haven't seen most of the old ones. But jo I've seen almost all the new ones. Josh probably likes uh, The Living Daylights the most. I've seen, like, maybe one Bond in what? my life. What? How is that even possible? Like, I think I've only seen, like, GoldenEye. Your GoldenEye is great. Yeah? I, I feel like the game might have been better than the movie. I mean, you're you're comparing, you know, great thing to great thing in that case. Okay. So, you'd like, I'm, I'm not going to necessarily disagree with you. Yo, Skyfall is really good as well. All I'm... the Daniel Craig ones are bad? No, 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 no. I actually really like the Daniel Craig I thought Craig everyone ones. likes the Daniel Craig Well, they, they go through, like, a, an even odd cycle. Like, Casino Royale and Skyfall are awesome. And then um, Quantum of Solace is just boring. And what's the uh, the last one was uh, Spectre. Spectre I haven't seen yet, yeah, but I Spectre heard it was, was really good. I heard it was horrible. Is that the one with wait, Batista? The one? Wait, Batista's in it? Yeah. The one where the like everyone goes rogue and then they have to like have a showdown in the freaking field. That's Skyfall. Is that Skyfall? Oh, then I'm thinking of that. I where like Skyfall. A lot. Sky Skyfall's got Javier Bardem in it. Probably Skyfall, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Skyfall! Spectre, then. Yeah, all the names, I guess, kind of blend together, but whatever. They're mostly good. That's Skyfall. Okay, that was Skyfall. Um, I like that movie. The Pierce Brosnan ones are, like, really bad. Except Goldeneye is great, and then, like, half of Tomorrow Never Dies is okay. But, you know, don't you dare tell that to Mouth. He's, like... The biggest uh, apologist in human history for Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Pierce Brosnan felt like the the most proper Bond to me, even though I know that's not it's probably just, correct. I think it's because we were just the age. Yeah, we just hit the right age, but he just looks the part to me. Like that's what I expected Bond to look like. I think it's because we played like nine hundred hours of Goldeneye as kids, <laughs> and like now in our head we're like he is James Bond. And what's silly is, like, I can't imagine Sean Connery, like, taking him seriously, even though I know he is what most people consider to be the legit right, he's bomb. the original, yeah. Yeah. It's just, like, the James Bond franchise is really weird for me, because I like a lot of them. But I also find myself being like, man, how can you get excited about, like, a James Bond movie? I watched the one that has that lady who plays, her character's name is Christmas. Oh, yeah, is Denise that, Richards. Tomorrow Never Dies. That is something? The World Is Not Enough. That is, that's what I said. Denise Richards enough. plays a, uh, like, a, a petrochemical engineer named Christmas Jones. 
who exclusively weird. exists so that um, James Bond can give her an orgasm, and then he can say, oh, I thought Christmas only comes once a year. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. That deserves applause. They made the whole movie around that joke, didn't they? Well, the whole movie is kind of a joke. That's the one where, like, the the big bad <laughs> villain is, like, a dude who has a bullet in his brain, so... He can't that feel pain. Evil? Well, yeah, oh, okay. it, it, it like messed with his brain, you know? And then he also can't feel pain, so he's impossible to fight. And the whole movie, you're just like, why don't you just shoot him? What if you just shot him? He would die. It's just, that's <laughs> yeah, not... You can't feel it, though. I mean, that's, it's not like people go, oh, I'm dying of pain, you know? You succumb to I... your injuries. Yeah. People have died true. from pain before. I don't know if that's true. I cause your cause your heart to stop. Oh. So much pain, you can't process it. Yeah, that's a good time to autosave. Can you believe I actually finished my Isaac run, ended Boss Rush, ended Hush, Whoa. and still finished 10 minutes early? Oh, that's that's swell. Really? Ryan's on his, like, third of Zaza run. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's usually. It's just I, a big Yeah, deal. but I got, I've got Amnesia and Curse of the Maze, and I can't I can't exit this floor. I, I don't know where I'm okay. going, and then I keep getting <laughs> teleported from, like, room to room, so. Nick, that's BS? What did I say that was BS? No. People die take, from shock. Take it. Oh, oh, the heart stopping thing. Um, Goldfinger is, is also. A real thing? I really believe that was real. There's so much pain, your heart stops. Yes. Yeah. Maybe if you're like a little bitch or something. Isn't that like what the foundation of shock kind of is? I mean, not that that is shock, but. Well, that's like literally doctor, stopping that your goes. heart, right? Like, no, I'm not a copter. And that goes. Anyway, yeah, the whole point is like. <laughs> Logan is really good. I would recommend it. All right. Good to know. It does better than just the Marvel formula. Like, there's... I feel like... It is very not comic booky. Really? Yeah. I mean, except for the fact that inherently it, it you're watching a... Well, I mean, you're watching a movie about a dude who's got sharp metal claws. Like, in the, there will, there, if you're anything like me, there will be times during this movie where you're like, oh, this is really good. But it is about a dude who's got metal claws in his hands. Like, it's a patently ridiculous concept. Is that why it's called Logan? I don't understand the question. It's called Logan because Wolverine's name is Logan. Yeah. Oh. Because they already did Wolverine Origins, so they had to change it to something else. Yeah, but like, I've seen, at least I've seen The Wolverine, I haven't seen X-Men Origins Wolverine, which I hear is horrible. This yes. is actually like, one million times better than The Wolverine. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. Like that, the movie with the old Japanese man who's like right. sucking the life force out of people. This is, this is 20,000 times better than that movie. That's good. I know it's cynical to say, but I am super jaded on origin stories of popular Marvel characters. Yeah. Like Wolverine specifically, who I believe is probably the most popular X-Man. So uh, I would fair. like give X Cyclops some freaking action. He never gets, or Gambit, they never get any screen time anymore. They can never make a standalone Gambit movie, because people won't take him seriously with, with the accent. They're going to be like, I need subtitles That's for this stupid. guy. Yeah. The accent's what makes him his character, though. You're gonna watch a whole movie where the guy the, the whole time just goes, dang old mutants, man, I gotta get yeah. down here, I'm down here, I got that mutant <laughs> down here in the bayou. <laughs> give, me them, give, me them, give me them cars <laughs> down there, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dang whip old, at you. Dang old <laughs> Jack of <laughs> X's, man. So you'd throw playing cards, you'd be a badass. I got, the, I got these, these playing cards, and I got this bow staff. I found, I found a stick in the woods, I use that. <laughs> I have what a bow. What was around his face? That like that black thing around his face that would like hold all of his facial hair back. That was cool as hell. He did have like a, a beard hat. Yeah, I remember. Does that. anyone know what that is? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Gambit, he, he wears like his beard. it's like a magneto. It's like an inverse balaclava. <laughs> it just shows the front of his face like a T. Weird. Dang old beard, man. Always Cyclops. getting in the way Cyclops of my cars. Cyclops was my favorite when I was a kid. Nick Cyclops is boring. He sucks. He was the only they, one that I trusted. They should just call him, like, Suck Clops. <laughs> also, they made him a stupid shithead asshole in the movies, and I didn't appreciate that, because Cyclops was a much cooler character than that. I do like that he's got, like, you know, laser beams that he shoots out of his eyes. Yeah, that's his main thing. That's probably, like, that all the time. in my opinion, that's his best power-up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> power-up? His, his eye lasers are, like, really powerful. Yeah. He's got technology. But then, like... 
I don't know, dude. I feel like X Men is fucked. Like it's a failure of writing. It's not Scott Summers' fault. Here's the thing: is like I after seeing Logan and and X Men Apocalypse, which is also like just not very good. Um, but mm -hmm. Logan, on the other hand, is extremely good. But did I mention I like that movie? Either way, yeah, I've heard. I can't stand to watch another X Men movie with the same characters. Like, can we just have, like, 20 years of not seeing Mystique on screen? Yeah, yeah. They always make Mystique way too big of a deal. I don't know what that is. They just really like that character, so they push her super forward into all the plots. Nobody cares about Mystique. Yeah, no one ever gave her that shit, interesting. I want to see this dude shoot laser beams out of his eyes more often. I want to see, you know... That ice man like make a ice fucking javelin and impale somebody yeah. through the heart. I don't want to. Oh look, it's a police officer and she went through the Oculus scanner and then. Oh, it's Mystique like actually. Right? I hate I hate the Juggernaut as well. You hate the Juggernaut? There's a lot of stupid X Men. Mm, What's the Juggernaut's you know, deal? No, Dude, the Juggernaut's you badass. He just runs through walls. Toad. You can hate Toad. You can't hate Juggernaut. Yeah. Toad, I watched the first X-Men movie because it was on TV this weekend. Toad's stupid as hell. Toad is dumb. Anything. <laughs> I, I agree with that. I'm the juggernaut bitch. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, like, that's his line. I know, he's, he's the memeiest of all the... Yeah, he was the really juggernaut good. juggernaut isn't a mutant. <laughs> what? What? The juggernaut, the juggernaut isn't a mutant. Is a large a man. Who large man. No way in hell. He's got to be, like, cybernetically enhanced or something. He took steroids once. Look at his shoulders and abdominal <laughs> muscles. There is no way. Okay, fictional character biography. Of course his name is fucking Kane Marco. By the way, if you watch Logan and you like it, never read up on the actual X-Men canon, because it's the it'll just ruin your wow. enjoyment of the film. And then Professor Xavier <laughs> left Earth-23 and went to space where he communicated with the Epsilon race, and the Epsilons trapped him inside of an infinity crystal, yeah. and you're like, man, that is like the exact opposite of Grounded. But anyway, um, <laughs> all right. Here, wait, 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 okay. So... Kane Marco, who is Juggernaut, and his stepbrother Charles serve in the U.S. Army and are stationed in Korea. Marco finds a temple. Hello. <laughs> Marco finds a <laughs> hidden temple dedicated to the ent entity Sitarak. On entering, Marco finds and holds a huge ruby and reads the inscription on the stone aloud. Whoever touches this gem shall be granted the power of the Crimson Gem of Sitarak. Henceforth, you who read these words shall become forevermore a human Juggernaut. The gem channel Sidorak's power into Marco. Uh, anyway, he's buried, and then... Uh, so he gets, like, magic powers. That's, like, kind of a cool origin story, actually. Yeah, that's badass. <laughs> I just thought he was just, like, a, a... Yo, he is a mutant, though. Like, if you get fucking hit with a magical ruby that turns you into a super soldier, you're a mutant. I don't really understand if that's true, but okay. I it is is Spider-Man a mutant? No. In what yeah, way is Spider-Man not. not a mutant? Wait, what do yeah, you mean? Did you not see the spider. Yeah, and then it showed his DNA coming apart, and the spider no, 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 DNA no, like, got in, inserted in, in, into in it. In the universe of Marvel, mutant is someone who's born with that shit. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's yeah, true no, at all. that's true. What about Lady Deathstrike? What about Lady Deathstrike? I don't think I know who that is. It's female Wolverine. Oh. Yeah, she's. Was she born that way? Was, no. was, was she born with any powers? Was Wolverine, Wolverine a mutant? Wolverine is only a mutant because he can regenerate. Right, okay, the claws are artificial. Correct. Okay. They plated adamantium onto his skeleton so he would be an indestructible super soldier. I. Dude. Which, ironically, is exactly what Magneto can control! <laughs> Wow. That's Did you true. know? Look. They keep sucking his skeleton. I don't know how many times a man can get his skeleton sucked out. Yeah, they do that a lot. It's gotta hurt. There's other stupid X-Men. We'll talk about it, I guess, when we play Sonic. Are you guys good to move along? Yeah, well, I can do whatever I you want. It. May do it, dude. No, I don't think I'm gonna do it. There's hundreds of stupid X-Men, but there's like a few really good ones though. Um Beast is stupid. 
Beast is stupid. He's like I mean, one of my favorites, but he's an idiot. He's actually the most intelligent, but if I mean, that's the thing. concept is stupid. It's like, make a choice. Are you really smart or are you like a blue person? You got two powers. Pick one. Well, that was the kind of the dichotomy of that character is that he was very intelligent and not quite as physically uh, inclined despite his appearance. So he was a beast who stayed back in the lab. Mm. Are you sure? I mean, he'd show up on missions sometimes, but he wasn't really that big on that. What does Jubilee do? She shoots she, she, fireworks out of her yeah, fingers. Yeah, I hate yeah. that. She uh, gets a lot better later in life. She just sucks when she's a teenager because she's really angsty and doesn't know what to do with herself. You know who's cool? Quicksilver. Uh, Cable. Oh. Yeah, Cable's all right. He's a time-traveling dude with a huge cannon. Hmm. I agree. Who's with everything the one that, that you shoots guys time done. bombs onto everything, and he has like a, like a yellow stripe. That's all of them. Oh yeah, that's uh, the timekeeper. Is it really uh, the timekeeper, no, or is that a no? Is that a, just a comedy havoc. Bang Bang reference? Am I thinking I just, of Havoc? I just made it up. He was also a physics engine. Mm. That's not true. Tracer. No, not Tracer. <laughs> Jubilee is way better than Gambit. I don't know. I mean, it, it maybe. Colossus is cool. Yeah, I'm kind of like I'm pro Colossus. He's got oh, a power. Boomer. Yeah, I think it's Boomer. He's actually. got a power I can get behind. It's just a man that's made out of steel. Colossus is pretty cool. He can't like I. I didn't like him at first, but I, he grew on me a bit. Like Cyclops is cool. I'm kind of like, like the Colossus takes himself seriously, which is really funny when there's a straight man in the midst of everyone else cracking jokes. Yeah, I can see that. What about Negasonic <laughs> Human Warhead? I mean, she seems all right. I don't know who that is. Whoa. It's not fireworks, it's pyrotechnic energy. I know, but it's they look like It's fireworks. not fireworks, it's pyrotechnic energy. <sighs> this is why I'm glad I'm glad that Marvel Studios is run by like Nerds that are like us, but they're not quite into the turbo nerd category yet. <laughs> because, like, somebody in Marvel Studios is like, Look, excuse me, uh, Mr. Feige, uh, when are we gonna send Charles Xavier into the uh, minus realm to uh, get the infinity gem implanted into his Prince Albert? And he's like, oh, We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine is gonna have sharp claws in this movie, but it's gonna be like there's gonna be pathos as well. Okay. Okay. Anyway, who's who's launching this game? Oh yeah, I'll get I'll get out of Isaac then if we're done with that. Yep. I'm. I didn't get the orbit, but two of these people survived. I can't remember if two or three launched, but two made it back safely. So that's exciting. Save game. Thank you very much to the people that just tipped. Uh, I'm gonna read out all the stuff at the end. Has become the norm. I'm gonna read out some stuff right now. Are we done? We, we switch. Oh, we, yeah, you know, like you you ten minutes ago. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> when I asked if we're ready to switch, and then I turned the game on, changed the game name, ran three minutes of advertisements, and oh, really? started filling the dead air with a bunch of talk about, uh, you know, the X Men. Oh, really? That was us coming back? Yeah, I didn't know that we were coming back. I thought we were still before. Yeah, me too. You should, you should talk to us a little bit more. Right. Is anyone I making got the into game? The whole X Men talk and kind of lost track. Everyone is a right. Nightcrawler boner. He's one of the coolest no, X-Men. Nightcrawler sucks. What are you talking about? He sucks. How so? He's stupid. G explain. I just don't like him. Dude. Like, well, he's like, all right, I could look at something, and then I got, like, tattoos all over me, yeah. and then I, I teleport there. And, like, the teleport there is kind of cool, but, like, I got the tattoos all over me and kind of stupid looking. You That's know stupid. who's the stupid mutant? Kind of stupid looking? Stupidest mutant? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely like Jean Grey. We've already got a Jean Grey, and they're named Patrick Stewart, Captain Jean Luc Picard. We don't need another Jean Grey. Pick a different power. That's like you know, <laughs> Josh if, sucks. Mirror match. <laughs> if we were if we were playing like you know, Marvel <laughs> Ultimate Alliance, and I chose like Professor X, and then you're like, I want to be Jean Grey. I'd be like, No, we yeah. need get take Iceman. Or think about if you were making a Marvel vs. Capcom team, and you had both of them on the same team, that would be stupid. Like, by, what are you doing? By the way, is anyone going to start this game? 
I just got the game started now, and I am capturing it. I'm ready to join. I think Austin's going to be here in a second, too, so it's kind of... He's had the game open him. for, like, four minutes. Next one is dumb. I'm, hey, buddy. I'm, like, 50% with you. It's like a bunch of heroes who have, like, way too specific powers that are just barely too specific to not be interesting. I think they're only dumb because of the movies making their characters seem really shallow. Well, like, there's, like, a... What if there was, like, a shallow man? There's, and, like, no, He could Josh. just, like, turn into, like, a shallow puddle. There's like a roller coaster. There's probably a guy for that, yeah. Like X Men One was like pre superhero movies actually being any good, and it was decent. Wait, did, what came first, I mean, X Men or Spider Man? X Men was like two years before Spider Man. Right. Like Tobey Maguire Spider Man. Yeah. It was two years before that. So should I, should I just make this lobby? Are we? I think my computer's crashed now, so I don't know. I hear you. So. No, I mean that like I can't do anything. It's all locked up. Chat's still going. Well, yeah, everything's still going. But I can't touch anything. It's all stuck. All right, well, I'm going to make this lobby. Go ahead and make the lobby and see what happens. I'm sorry for being impatient, but, you know, we've got a show run here. Just make the lobby. That's what I'm going to do here. First, I have to search for games. I've never made a lobby before. I don't have any of the freaking maps unless I, we get them for doing the race. Is Rob dead? Is he not? He's the map maker. Rob, you get him if you play him, I think. Yeah, okay, that's correct. Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was just Sonic that broke my game. I'm coming back. Blade Sonic, came out before. Did he run too fast? Blade came out before X Men. Yeah, but like. But no one knew Blade was. Exactly. Like People were like, you know, it was Blade. You know. Ocean View. Choose your difficulty. Hell yeah. Difficulty. Yeah. Menu gets so mad at all right, you. All right. Hit the button. Join on me, boys. Join on me. I think you have to invite. I can't do that. I can join on you. Join on me. I clicked the join button, but nothing happened. I did. Yeah, I did as well. Nothing happened? Yeah, you nope. didn't invite us. Yeah, I've got Steam overlay disabled because people keep sending me, you know, <laughs> pictures of, you know, clitorises and stuff. You can turn Steam. the notifications off. You know what, Austin? Why don't you start the lobby? <laughs> can start the lobby? Wait, you clitorises? I've never clitoris had Clitoris and clitoris and. Careful what you wish for, buddy. Smoke oh, in the I'm... Reaper. Race. Should I make Wait. a room then? Yeah. Wait, how do I make a race? How do you spell it? Custom game! Custom game online. Race. Ocean view. Alright, this is almost done. Hard. Just put it on. It doesn't matter! <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> well, are there really are this we playing this crap? game? This is so irrelevant to the <laughs> concerns that we're facing right now. I was creating a game right now. Graffiti City? What are you Nick, doing? don't be making a game. Austin's making a game. I made a game. But I, I have all the you. tracks. It doesn't matter. You you no. missed your window, buddy. I didn't want to miss my window. The computer broke. Invite the game. It. Thank Sorry. you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Invite the game. Hey, you invited him. Hey! That worked. Nice. Invite Austin. What? Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome, Josh. Austin. What? How do you like Zelda? It's one of the greatest games ever made. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. You don't have to say that. We can say it's really good, but you don't no, have to say it. No, I, I, I waited until I finished it to say that. And I finished it, and I'm going to say that. Wait, if Nick. you, if you, like, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I joined. Did oh, you leave, Josh? God. I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, my game, it reverted to, like, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? Nick, you going to make it in here? All right. It just says searching for games. I took your invite. I'll send you another invite. All right, I'm in. Okay, I clicked on it. Okay. You might have to restart your game or something. Yeah, third time's charm, I guess. More like it's Sonic right. and All Stars. Brace yourself for sitting on this lobby screen for the next 45 minutes. If you want to go ahead without me, I just... stupid tech issues. Wait, why? Uh, I just don't want to make Ryan upset because it just keeps breaking. Ryan, are you upset? I'm a little so, upset. He's a little upset, Nick. One to ten. Okay. Give me, give me an upset scale. I don't scale. know, like a like a one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm on the scale. Well, I've made it onto the scale, but I'm not actually like, I'm not emotionally, you know, tilted or anything by it. I don't know if we can do anything about it unless you're at least like a four or five. Oh, I'm, I mean, we're getting there here. to be honest with you. <laughs> 
Yeah, Corey yeah. and Emerson, like, join on us if you can. I am back. I can join just... on us. Join. No, don't join. It doesn't work. Why did? Okay. Why doesn't it work anymore? I don't know, but I invited you. There you go. You tell me why week. I don't like Mondays. Oh, it's a great song. Why? Bye. Song on Mondays. See, how did Emerson get in here? If you can't join, you invite him. I no, I invited him. Oh, okay. Well, you fair invited enough. him. Got in. Oh, nice. We've done it. It just took really long. Hmm. Mute, mute, mute. You don't mute me. My mute. auto mutes. Okay, My auto mutes. Shenmue. <laughs> Why don't you play as uh, Shenmue? How does how do, Ryan? Yes. How do you spell Kiadi Mundi? It's K I dash A D I space M U N D I. U I X T I. One two. And L Mal. Do I just start it now? Yeah. I mean, see if I fucking go. Oh, daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Daddy needs a new banana. Oh, I got an orange. I had nothing. Got no, seriously, Zelda's Zelda's amazing. How do you how do you go in this game? Is it right trigger? <laughs> I'm going to press right trigger. We're in the game, Ryan. I mean, you can stop now. Stop what? What in the world? <laughs> I heard that. Is somebody at the roulette table right now? My uh, my vibe. Uh, no one said that word. The vibration <laughs> my part of my vibe. controller. <laughs> my vibe. My vibe. My uh, vibe is broken, so it just goes brrr when it vibrates. That's pretty nice, though. Sure? Like it's a pleasing sound. It was not pleasing in my ears. Ah, oh, you hit me right when I got in the first place. You should have been here. Did you like rush Zelda to the end or something? Because I'm like no, 25 I, hours into it and I haven't even done the first dungeon yet. I played <laughs> about 40 hours to beat the game. I just went and opened up the whole map today. And it took wait, 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 hours wait, hold and up. hours. Well, like the here, game it's, came it's, out it's on a game, but the game the game came out on Friday. Yes, I streamed for 13 hours. Have there days. even been 40 hours since Friday? <laughs> oh yeah, you didn't even have it at, like immediately on Friday either. No, I played it uh, Friday morning. I just streamed for 13 hours every day. This is the first day I didn't stream for 13 hours. Not joking. I was into the game, dude. It's a great game. the end of it, then. You went for the end as fast as possible. No, no I way. did. I did half of the show. You can take as much time or as little time with that game as possible. Yeah. I destroyed the final boss. I was so overpowered. Who's the final boss? No spoilers. Uh, yes. Zelda. What yeah, kind Zelda of idol. what kind of animal is uh, Ganondorf this time? <laughs> is he a ghost dragon? Is he a man or is he some kind of like a sea serpent? Just, or he's a ghost. Don't dragon. spoil it, Josh. You just <laughs> asked me. I said Wait. no spoilers. That's that's the indication that I'm gonna tell a joke. What? Your jokes suck. Wow. <laughs> you know what, Mister? No Josh, did you beat it? No, I'm not even close. Uh, I did like. Uh, I'm not even gonna get into it. Um, uh, oh, I guess he doesn't want to spoil anything, so... I'm not too far. I did, I did a main quest thing, but only one. That's cool. I'm going, I mean, I'm still playing. I'm, I'm going back and doing things I missed. Yeah, can you, like, go back after you... It, it, when you beat the boss, it, it, it puts you right, revert. It puts okay, you right back before, yeah. 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 You played the room before? That's stupid. It should clear out the land of all the evil and let you wander around forever. No. <laughs> that was the best I've ever driven. That last lap is amazing. Well, I mean, sixth place. I, I came stuff. in fifth, but I went from tenth to fifth in like two seconds. It was a wonderful situation. Did you did you get your switch today, Ryan? Yeah, it just came in like two seconds ago. Oh, nice. You should play some Zelda tonight. Probably won't, to be honest with you. We could play multiplayer Zelda together. Yeah. Oh, dude, that game was multiplayer. That uh. It, it it must suck having to like do recorded videos and have Zelda to also play because that game will consume you. Yeah. I mean, it's not that hard if you just remember that it's like a piece of media and not something that's actually going to transform your life. Like, yeah, I'm, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it's going to transform your life, but I'm saying like it's a really addictive game. You know what I think is a good video game? I don't fucking folding your laundry cuz like I just did that yesterday dude. and I also made time to play Josh that. did you know Austin doesn't fold his laundry Yeah we talked about that last oh, week I was just making sure Oh 
Yeah, we talked. About Sorry, Austin. I didn't mean to sell you out there. No, I'm trying to figure out how to change the map. Uh. Like I, oh. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. No, no, no. It's fine. I got it. Huh. Hey, at least I have to change the map. Rob never did that. I kept pressing. So why uh, nights always the Dream Valley? It's a good map. It's a cool map, man. It's not it's, that good. It like hardly repeats the whole time. I was pressing B for A and A for B because I had my controllers swapped on the the Zelda, so I had to swap Are my you buttons sure? out. Yeah. NL is literally the no fun allowed robot. <laughs> You're allowed to have fun. <laughs> it's not I mean, in his presence. I just don't. I don't feel compelled to play Zelda. But I recognize that Hey, it, that's cool, man. It, You're allowed to have that. No, this isn't like... This is the least Zelda Zelda game that has ever been made. It does probably... No, not even probably. It's definitely the best Zelda game ever made. Ask it, me it, if I want, like, a hamburger right now. Do you want a hamburger right I now? I would love a hamburger right now. Ask okay. me if I want to play Zelda right now. No. Do you want to play Zelda right now? I feel ah. like this is a trick. Take it or leave it. Yeah. But, like, I'm not telling you, hey, go play this Zelda game. I'm saying go play this game because it's good as a game, not just Zelda. I believe that. Yeah, yeah that's that's true. It's, sort of, it's pretty good. It's got breakable weapons that break every five seconds. Yeah, and it doesn't good. matter. It's really and good. Anyone who hates it is just, like, not using it right. I don't think I'm using it right because evidently there's a way to get more, like, slots. Yes, you weapons. gotta get Koroks. I had no idea. And I'm like... 20 some hours in and it's frustrated me a couple times and I now that I've found that out I was like oh well that's makes my life less frustrating yeah no I I never had a moment in the entire 40 hours of gameplay where I didn't have a weapon to use that was good yeah but you know when you got that cool fire sword and then it immediately breaks that yeah then I went and got another one <laughs> I want to use a cool fire sword for more than five seconds you do it Fire sword takes like a lot of hits to kill. You gotta know what enemies break your weapons faster than their enemies. How long does an average weapon last in that game? Less than oh. one fight. No. no what? Yeah, You're like changing. It, it does something. depend on the fight. You're changing um, weapons like multiple times per encounter. You, if it's a tough enemy, yeah. But it yeah. it's fun. It makes it a, it, it a, is actually interesting. No, it makes you have to fumble over the controls every time you fight. I so voided I out. It. I glitched and voided out of the map. But I'm back now. That was really weird. <laughs> I thought we were talking about Zelda. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I was like, that's a plus for you? <laughs> you do ISG? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, well, what was the, was the question that was asked? But I got. Oh, well, I mean, I was just like asking a question about Zelda. Weapons. Apparently the best game ever, but it's no big deal. You don't need to answer it. I got anything. mind flooded, dude. All right. The thing. No, the, uh, the weapon system, like, the game just shits out weapons at you the whole time. It's just like, here's another weapon, here's another weapon, use this one now. And there's so many different ones that are good and very few bad weapons that you just never run out. As long as you're not mashing your sword against the wall or something. Are you mashing your sword against the wall, Nick? Not Nick, at all, you, no. me, Tell me about your sword mashing experience. No, I used the swords exclusively for killing enemies and then eventually kind of stopped wanting to kill them because I always break everything. Are you doing shrines? I need to do more of them, but yeah, slowly. You get good weapons out of shrines, too. But, but the thing is, getting good weapons isn't what helps, because they'll all break. Yeah, but, like, you get good ones. You get better. You just get more when they break. Like, you, there's no, like... There's I don't, I, no I don't think you understand. I fundamentally just don't like breakable weapons. I just want but it not see, to that's, break. See, that's the problem. You, that's the mechanics. That's how the game works. Right, but I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like so much of the rest of it, but I really hate that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's fair. I mean, it's it's like the weapons do break, and it kind of does suck. And then you pair it with a really small inventory, like it's like again the inventory you can get. A lot I know. I just I have like five more weapon slots, and I just kept buying them, and it still isn't enough. Oh well, you see. I don't know. Never mind. I'm glad that you have your own opinion. I know, your opinion sucks. Video games. Yeah, I know. You guys Video games. <laughs> I mean, it I believe it's really because good. Because I like it, and I want to like it even more, but it's just that keeps frustrating me. So yeah, I just that's... run around and climb Well, mountains. I was frustrated because literally people in my, like, the whole time people in my chat were complaining for me. They were like, man, you, you must hate this weapon system. This weapon system sucks. And they're saying <laughs> that as they're watching, not as they're, they're not even playing the game. And I'm like, guys, I'm not frustrated at all by this. Yeah. I feel like people go in expecting to hate it because durability and weapons always suck, but I think the game actually did it right. It, it made it a good balance. Yeah. Out of, like, weapon durability, for how fast they do break, they do break pretty quick. They break um, intentionally but, fast. 
Yes, but I don't have necessarily a problem with it because, like you said, there is a lot of weapons that, like, you'll just pick up. It's the time. first game that made me have fun using different weapons. Like, in yeah. some games, they're like, here, use these other weapons. We're going to force you to do it. I'm like, fuck you, this is annoying. I hate it. But in this game, it's like, you just pick up another weapon, and it's fun, and it's exciting. It makes you use every weapon. But I don't want to use every weapon. I want to use the one I like. <laughs> well, Nick, that's your own problem, man. I got the cool fire sword. I want to use it for more than one fight. It doesn't make the system bad. It just means you don't like the system. Wait, doesn't it make it bad for me, then? Oh. No, it makes well, no, it's, it's, it's been a great show, everybody. Um, <laughs> NL hates fun. Uh, let's have a... 24-hour discussion about durability and inventory systems that we're going to repeat on Roundtable in 10 days anyway. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I never got the invites to the Roundtable, so yeah, I guess my opinion is still fucking Well, bad. you do have half days on Fridays, Josh. You could That's right. you could join us. Oh, really? Oh, no. Nice. I'm only two years into it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk about, Ryan? I don't know. Yeah, Ryan, like, some kind of... Talk to me. Tell me. How was your weekend? My... What was the oh, movie? well, <laughs> finally, uh... 80 minutes into the show, somebody asked me about how I'm doing. Um, it was good. Thanks for asking. Great. Great. Yesterday, what did you get up to? Yesterday, I saw Logan. And I thought that movie was good. And I played The Witcher 3, and that's a good video game. Mm -hmm. And... I... Tweeted Robert because he sent us a picture because his girlfriend is there right now in in an apartment that I can only assume is immaculate based on the <laughs> based on the time investment that Robert has said. Bleach, one of the <laughs> I don't want to sell Rob out too hard. He's <laughs> he's actually been cleaning his apartment full time for like four days. Oh wow! Like a full w work week of cleaning an, a house. I guess maybe it's not an apartment. So yeah. I was like, that's that's amazing. So that place must be amazing. But yeah. uh, he he took Jess to a pizzeria today. By the way, I don't want to know what that sound is. And um, he took a picture of the menu, and it says, white pies available. Come on. Nobody's, come on? Nobody's come here and been like, what do you mean by white pies? What do you mean? What do you mean by white pies? It sounds like you're, they're going to come inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's isn't it cream though, not white pies. Gross. I'm just saying. I thought that is cream. Nick, pick a character. <laughs> oh, I forgot I have to do that. Yeah, it's really weird that you have to pick a new character after every level. Yeah, when I just thought just, it keeps yeah. it like, it. like, hey, you can stay the same. It is weird. Oh, strawberry boys! Drone attacks slow you down less. That's a good one. It's not at all. <laughs> cream is white. Actually, it's cream colored. <laughs> Chan, I don't want to talk about Zelda right now. I'll, I'll play. I'll finish Zelda on the airplane to Boston. <laughs> What's the I'm Switch really, like, battery you, you life can. like? I mean, you've got the you got I'm, time. I mean, speed runs are. I'm in this position where I'm like, Zelda's, Zelda's fun. I want to go play it more, and I want to test out the. Uh, the freaking the switch on the airplane, but it's like I don't want to play Zelda on the airplane. And it's like we can't play exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's, there's no Hollow Knight. games on that. There's system. no games on this stupid system. Did you get anything yeah. else with it? No, just Zelda. Just Zelda. Yeah, oh, that's all. Are they gonna get arms? You can get the one two switch. Oh yeah, oh, play great. Those yeah, party yeah. games on the airplane. That was oh hey, you know why well, well, would I buy one of the two products available on the system at launch? Look, as far as I'm concerned, I bought a Zelda box, not a Switch. I'm all yeah, right pretty with much. That. I don't know. I mean, our... I don't understand what One Two Switch is. <laughs> it's you don't uh, look at the I screen and you play it. No, it's it's like you can look at the screen, yeah, but you don't have to. It's innovative. Why did you buy the Switch then? Just play a game with your friends, like, like talking. Just talk. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> what? what? We we. I'm we the one who hates video games. <laughs> I, I just don't care what the point of it is if you don't look at the screen. Well, no, you you can. It's there for you to look at. But you can not, though. Like, that's an for Not for all the games. Oh, okay. Not for all the games. I mean, I wanted to talk, you know. We got our Switch through Best Buy and all the games through Amazon. So right now we have a Switch and no games. Like, literally no games. 
Right, they want the you to difference? stare into each other's eyes, which is why I got that idea that you don't look at the screen. Which is fucking creepy, by the way. You don't want to stare into my eyes, Nick? No! You don't want to see I'll, the size bring, of the I'll flame? I'll switch to Pax. So look into my, my eyes. eyes! It freaks me out to Josh stare into people's eyes. What? I was in an airplane and I went off the level? Yeah. On the skies of Arcadia level, airplanes aren't allowed to go off the track? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Russian dude went all-star. Oh my god, I have a hammer and sickle! <laughs> That's pretty badass. I like this, like, Russian music. Yeah, it was pretty cool. You been this talking with so any good. Russian Democrats lately, Josh? Do you want to tell the class? What? No, don't worry about it. Is this a this Harry and S. Truman joke? joke. <laughs> no, it's a current events joke. Oh, dude, current events meme went away. Let's get, let's bring current events back. What's current events? What's current events it's meme? when someone makes a political joke that was barely any effort, and you just in all caps go current events in chat. Oh, okay. Wait, <laughs> like wait. That. Can I can that I try fun. it on for science? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Donald Trump. Oh, current nice events. one. I've heard of him. Jeff Sessions. Maybe oh, nice. Current Good job. events, dude. <laughs> John yeah. Spicer. I Nintendo Switch. Current events. I think it has to be political. I don't uh, know. Does it? Chad will tell I me. Think I'm we're not doing sure. it fine. They're saying all current events all the time. Well, as long as we're talking about controversial stuff, can I raise something I've been meaning to bring up for a while? Is it yeah. controversial? Your dick. Extremely. Right. It's extremely Shoot it. my dick. Um, <laughs> you ready? I, I mean, this might ruin the show, so I just want you to be ready for it. I'm ready for you to okay. ruin the show. <clears throat> Jesus. I've heard of him. What's that's he not, do? That's not current event. Current, current. Ev I think it's yeah. a current event. Is it? I don't think it is. That might be the most not current event you could have referenced. Mm. No, there's events that are less current. No, there was the, nothing. But the Big Jesus. Bang. Mm. Get out of here, black flag. Tell me more <laughs> about this Jesus guy. I want to know. Um, all I know is that I don't look a thing like him, but I. Honk like a gentleman, <laughs> like I imagined when you were young. Oh no, Jesus is crazy. That was a he killer sold me my joke. switch. That's right. Jesus sold you your switch. Yeah, yeah. No, there was a guy. The guy at uh, Fries was like, you know, selling me the switch, and he had a big old name tag and just said Jesus on it. Probably like Jesus, right? Uh, yeah, because it was like Jesus Cortez or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you said Cortez last time. Was that actually his name? And no, that's on his just, name that's just what I. No, I, it was. Oh, Jesus something. It might have actually been Cortez and I have a great memory, but I didn't... Or I, I it, he might have had no last name and you're just really racist. Maybe, yeah. Huh. Huh. Current events. Current, current events. events. <laughs> I like, you, you I like current events. To do. <laughs> what is, what's happening on my screen right now? I'm racing. It was weird. No, it was like, stopped. I was stopped. Yes, oh yes, God. racist, and we get it. It's it's a racing game. We're all racing. <laughs> I think they're saying race this, and they're they're talking about the course that we're on. They're going race this, race this. Oh, okay. Mm. What is that sound, by the way? What's that? That one right there. The mm. oh, is it is that the afterburner plane mm. flying around in the background? Yes. <laughs> That's like so the stupid. Tire yeah. That's it's the, the tire screeching in the game. Start. Now this Race is a level. This. this is a level. Race I didn't this. get enough coins to play the slot Swarm machine. Swarm shield. Swarm attacks slow you down less. I got I banana, lemon, banana. Is that close enough? I'm sure that's a recipe in Breath uh, of the Wild. Yeah, it's probably a recipe for your blue apron. <laughs> yeah. What are you making tonight, Josh? I mean, Austin. I mean, you could ask Josh too. Uh, I don't know. I got either chicken or salmon. I didn't have since I streamed for so much. I actually didn't have time to cook the meals, so. I have extra ones. Have so you been under. eating? Uh, yeah. I just had to order food because I didn't have time to cook it. Okay. I thought maybe you were so into Zelda you're just, like, not eating anymore. Nah. I mean, take it from Nick. He played a very reasonable 35 hours of it compared to your 40. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it that many? I think it was 20 more than 22 or something like that. Yeah, I'll let, well, let you guys pick. Wait, chicken or salmon? You should eat the yeah, salmon first salmon. because uh, it goes bad faster. I mean, it's in the and freezer. It ain't going bad anytime soon. Ah, Shaisa! You can have chicken any day of the week. Salmon's a special treat. Is it? You deserve salmon for beating Zelda. <gasps> what? You the? Said 
no, no, so no, no. Pit maneuvered me off the course. <laughs> you deserve salmon for beating Zelda. <laughs> yes, yeah, you do. You played a lot of video games this weekend, Austin. You should treat yourself. <laughs> All right, it's fair enough. <laughs> That's exactly what I was saying. Well, what kind of what kind of salmon is it? I actually don't remember. Read the Red recipe. Like crusted. It, go get the recipe. I'm racing. I mean, I'm in last though, so I could probably go get the recipe. Yeah, go get the recipe. Go get the recipe. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna let my car drive itself, and I'll get the recipe. Yeah, fine. Good. You deserve it. recipes. How big are are the boxes? Are you doing? No, he probably just went. Left. For what? For Blue Apron? Yeah. He went to go find the. Yeah. You're right. Oh my god. That's what I want to know. Taking my armor. <laughs> what? I don't know. That's what somebody slammed into me, and my guy said, "You're taking my armor." That's pretty sweet. Oh, you know what? I've got another question to bring up to chat. Chat. Hold on, chat's saying brutal savage. What did you say about me? Nothing. Don't even uh, worry about it. What? Man, there's a vod. I can go watch. It. Is there anybody? Are there any Germans in chat? You got to tell me if you're German. Because. Whoa, that didn't sound right. <laughs> we had this meal from our like, you know, Canadian Blue Apron service, Red Maple, and. <laughs> it was like, it was schnitzel, but it had this side dish that I've never seen before in my life called like spatzel, something like spatzel? that. And it, it was like, it was basically like really hard gnocchi or something like that. Okay. And, oh, and really as well. I was making it, I was like, this tastes like nothing at all. And then I finished cooking it and it tasted like nothing at all. And I put it on the plate and it tasted like nothing at all. What are you? Did I did I fuck it up somehow? Because it actually was just like I was eating balls of gluten, with no flavor. <laughs> I'm not anti gluten, right? Sounds like you're a little bit. Anti I'm not anti gluten. I'm just saying. It tasted like nothing. All my experience nothing. with German cooking and having a, a grandmother that is of German descent and loves to cook, I have never eaten German food that had no flavor at all. Apparently, okay. Chad's telling me it's a sauce vector. So that's my bad. Be uh, or well, actually, it's not my bad. It's the, it's our meal services bad because so they, they were they just like had it. I guess out to you without any sauce. With, well, without they didn't tell us to put any sauce on it or anything like that. So I'm, well, doesn't it supposed to like ship with the sauce? You make the sauce in the pan. It doesn't. They don't give you like a jar of spaghetti sauce and go pour this on here. Uh, but yeah, okay. So did they give you <laughs> stuff to make a fucking sauce? You piece of well, shit. Well, we put like a mushroom gravy on the wiener schnitzel, but they said just serve the spatzel as is. And he didn't. I don't know. Oh, this thing I've never seen before. Should I do what the instructions tell me, or oh, should no, I no, make no, up what I think it is? I understand is. that you never seen it, but like, can't you just be like, all right, so like, this doesn't have flavor, so let me eat it with the shit that does have flavor. This guy, you're breaking all the rules. <laughs> you're so high. Don't even tell me you put it on the spatzel, because I'm gonna, I'll freaking photocopy the recipe, show it to you guys. It doesn't say put the mushroom gravy on the spatzel. It says put, plate the spatzel, put the wiener schnitzel on the side, and then put the mushroom gravy on top of the wiener schnitzel. I stopped Wait. racing to get the recipes, and I still got seventh. That's how good. long, bad. Austin? How what? big is the package? Not the, like your dick, but like the package that comes in the mail. It's like a box. Inside. Like, is like a big box or like? A, it's like a, it's like, I don't know, like two Can feet you by it to a the, foot. Oh. It's, Take it's a like picture a, of the box for me. I'm not going. I'm not leaving a ghost so you can say bad things about me again. <laughs> no, go. Like, didn't you want the stupid I, recipes? The I reason, have here. I, the reason I asked, I just got like a like a fucking mailbox attached to my house. They're not. They can't put it in a mailbox. No, 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 no. It's it's like it's a parcel box. Okay. So you open it up and you put I understand. the box I understand. in there because I live in the city and yeah. I don't have like a. Yeah, so I'm aware, yeah. I want to know if it would fit inside of my box. Blue apron? So how big is the parcel? I don't know. Take a picture Can of your you box and I'll tell you. They're just going to... It, it's delivered in like a little freezer bag thing, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, so what, you, you got blue apron? You're going to get it? I, I don't know. If it, it fits in my if box... It, then, if it yeah. doesn't fit in the box, they'll just leave it on the front of the door. Yeah, yeah they they're, they're going to leave it on the front of the door, probably. Wait, is someone going to steal your lunch? The they they the have... It comes with... It comes with ice, like big ice packs. So yeah, it's like for refrigerated. You got like an eight-hour window to pick up the yeah to pick up the stuff before it goes bad. What if they bring it back to the post office though? They're not gonna. They're gonna leave it on your door. Why would they do that, Nick? They well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just want to know. How, I just want to know the dimensions of this box. It's not gonna fit in your parcel box, man. It's Why? not gonna fit. Is in... it that big? It's, it's pretty big. Well, but if it's you're not getting, small. you might be getting six meals a week because you you live with somebody. Good. That's like a week's worth of groceries. They're just gonna shove it in your parcel box. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm asking. It sounds like a pretty big box. We've established that. You recognize I'm gonna read these recipes whether you want me to or not, by the this way. This is something you do for convenience. They make it as easy as possible for... Also, this German spetzel dish. Yeah? It had the weirdest side dish I've ever had in my life. It was like homemade sauerkraut. They were like, hey, put cabbage and applesauce and vinegar into a pot and boil it for like 45 minutes and then just serve that on the side. And I'm like, I'm pro huh. sauerkraut. Ew. When I ate this, I was like, this is poison. You you were trying to <laughs> actually kill me. Sauerkraut's this This, this ain't no dang sauerkraut. I don't, yeah, it I don't tasted extremely good. strong. Sauerkraut, I, I mean, it's supposed to be a little strong with the vinegar, but it's not supposed to be, like, predominantly vinegar. It was one of the, the biggest misses from this place. But anyway, huh. sure, Austin, I'm I'm ready for your recipes, buddy. All right, I'm going to make myself look an idiot for the first one. I'll tell you the story after I read it. But uh, it's uh, tangelo and honey glazed salmon. Tangelo? Yeah. Tangelo. Like D apostrophe Angelo, the guy who did that song. How does it feel? <laughs> that one? That's the one, yeah. How did you like flips and shit? Analog stick. Uh, right analog stick. Right analog stick. So... And it has like you you put apples on it as well. So you cut up an apples and like I guess you glaze it in the honey. I never well, knew apples would go with salmon before. Sure. What are you paying them for if they don't cut it up? No, they actually don't cut it up. I thought they did, but they don't. What? They don't yeah. cut up foods that get weird when you cut them. Like they don't they won't chop oh. a tomato for you because the tomatoes. They don't cut turn anything. Out. They don't cut anything for you? No, you gotta do it all yourself. What are you paying food? them for? Don't uh, the pay ingredients. Them ever again. Yeah, I mean, it's teaching me how to cook, so... Sure, I, I mean, there is explain. fairness there, I understand. Pay them with the shit that comes out your ass. <laughs> what? Oh! Like, I, poop. I thought they chopped yeah. it for you. No, I thought they did too, but they don't. Ours chops it for us. Yeah, no, well, I mean, I'm learning some chopping skills. Also, I learned that mincing garlic is a pain in the ass, and you gotta peel it too. Oh, dude, that's, like, onions and garlic coming pre-diced in every meal is almost worth the cost of admission by itself. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice, but no, you gotta do it all yourself. They just it's they're sending me too much garlic. I, I'm gonna have an excess no, of garlic. Every meal every meal they're gonna Always give you garlic. garlic. Yeah. No, but like they they give me a head of garlic every time. And so I just I use like four or five cloves of it, and then I have half of the head left, and then next week they send me another head of garlic. Yeah. I'm increasing my garlic load by um, one half every <laughs> week. My garlic load. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna get that looked at. Um but no, Not I looked like an idiot good. because I, I was asking my roommate, I was reading the recipes out and I was talking to my roommate, and I was like, what the hell is Tangelo? Okay. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> well, no, it's, a, it's just a, it's a, it's a Tangelo. What, what the fuck is a Tangelo? What? I've a never, Pokemon. I've never heard of a Tangelo. Maybe I'm saying it wrong again, <laughs> fuck, I don't know. Are you it's talking, the... it sounds like you're saying Tangerine. Oh tangelo. yeah, no, it is a Tangerine. But it's wait. it's so wait I don't know what the hell what? Tangelo is then. It wait, might what? actually be that. It's it's a. It's, are you it's, saying it's... you don't know what tangerines are? Josh, no, am I, I do. Are are you here? Cause like if I, I do, fucking. What, what's I'm happening right now? now? Because, like you don't know what a tangerine is? No, I do. And even <laughs> I don't, I didn't know what Tangelo is. For a second, is. you just said you didn't know what a tangerine was. No, I didn't say that. I mean, I, I heard mean that. It. That is exactly what I heard. You heard wrong. You heard right. <laughs> but. <laughs> I've, I've, this is a very mind flooding situation. <laughs> I don't understand the problem or what's happening, to be honest. With you. <laughs> it came with the fucking tangerine, alright? Why did you and say I, tangelo then? Because that's what it is, that's what it says. It says tangelo guess... on the, on the recipe? Yes, it says tangelo. Okay, now I'm with you, and now I'm okay. in like, this is weird town. Yeah, so I guess I mind flooded myself to think that a tangerine was a tangelo. <laughs> That's where the confusion well, came. At some point, you didn't know what tangerines were. And that's yeah, no, at some point, me. I thought a tangerine was a tangelo, and I was like, whoa, I know what a tan tangelo is. It's a tan. <laughs> it's tangelo. T I, I actually destroyed my own mind with that. But now I'm glad <laughs> I'm that I'm not back it. yet. I'm You're still yeah, somewhere else. Yeah, I'm extremely confused. <laughs> it's a tangerine. It, they gave me a tangerine. All right, we there? 
Okay, sure. Can I'm gonna use that tangerine. The tangelo, then. Yeah, I'm I want to stop. No, calling I'm gonna it use tangelos. a tangerine to make a tangelo and honey glaze. <laughs> we there? No, not really. Honestly. You're gonna use a tangerine really and tangelo. That tangelo. <laughs> a tangelo is a tangerine mixed with a pomelo. Thank you. What's Thank you. Oh, so it's, it isn't a tangerine at all. So it is a, a tangelo. A pomelo is like a little, another little baby oh, orange. It's a type of soap that you use to get shit off your hands, I thought. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, this, this goes way level. Oh, this um, goes so deep, dude. Pomelo is actually um, Borat's prospective wife in Borat. <laughs> Pomelo! Tangelo is a citrus fruit hybrid of tangerine and pomelo or grapefruit. Mm, oh, pomelos are grapefruits. Why do they call them grapefruits is then? Is pomelo a grapefruit? Is that no, like... it's not. There's a picture of it right here. So, I can go grab the tangelo. No, you got a tangelo. Not a pomelo. Tangelo. I've got a tangelo. Right. The tangelo should be small. So anyway, that's the salmon. Okay, um, sure. You know what? I've decided you should have the chicken tonight. <laughs> yeah, chicken. <laughs> Change well, the up. chicken is called chicken yakiniku. Oh, yakiniku. Yeah. Yakiniku, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. that's just... Hatsune that just, niku. I've that, had that. That just... Have you? That just <laughs> means, like, fried meat. Oh. So that should be so easy make enough. it sound way fancier than it actually is. You know they got meat cakes now in Japan? I hate when you use they like that. They got well the, the culture of Japan. <laughs> like, you know, they've got mayonnaise cafes, they've got meat cakes. What does this mean? The people of Japan! What? I don't mean any disrespect. It's just it's a novel thing to have a cake made of just meat. What about a pot pie? No, it's not like it's like a birthday cake with raw meat all over it. What about a tangelo? And then they take the raw meat and they put it on the the grill and then they cook it at their table and they eat it. But you present it like a birthday cake of raw meat. It's pretty wild, right? Get ready. Pretty novel, pretty zany. <laughs> Nick, stop reading Kotaku, is what chat said to your... I can't stop, I won't stop. Is there, is there just a section on Kotaku that's like, weird shit from Japan, you know, Yeah, that's every part day? of their mission statement is to talk about Japanese culture, and that's where I get a lot of that stuff, yeah. Huh. This is just the mind flood. Yeah, how, how's your service. day going, Josh? Who is in the actual adult world of, uh, sanity. You didn't know what a uh, tangelo was I No, no, I'm, I'm with you, dude. That's... That's that uh, meal service being like, you know, we're going to justify our existence by giving you a weird-ass fruit that barely exists. <laughs> you know, Russians barely. have meat jello. Yes, I, I know that. They've also, meat I've gotten jello? jellied, jellied meat uh, um, croutons before, which don't taste that good. They're just kind of it like salt. It doesn't sound that good. It doesn't sound good at all. Yes, thank you, Austin. I appreciate that. What? When you said, uh, everyone else was going halfsies. You took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, I got you. Okay. It sounds way worse than just not that good. Yeah, it, 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 it sounds head, like it took it out of my mouth. It's almost like something they try to eat on Fear Factor. Yeah, it's like a torturous sort well, of. Well, I imagine when you get like, like a can of spam, right? Like you open the can of spam, and then on the top is that kind of like viscous clear bit. I haven't had spam in a while, and I'm kind of Jones and Have you ever had spomelo? No. <laughs> that is it's, fruit I've never heard of. It's a can of spam mixed with uh, a nouveau Yellow. riche word for a grapefruit. Oh god. I was also like on on yesterday's show, people were shit talking spam, and I'm like, yeah, more spam That's for me good. as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I haven't had it in like years. Here's, but here's a spam related thing. Do you like, like it. Vienna sausage? No. Not at all. Not at all. I, I, I have do. a really weird relationship with it. Um, I like it for about three sausages, and then I fucking hate it. Mm. I can have about three Vienna sausages, and it'll taste really good. But the fourth, exactly the fourth one, it'll be like, <laughs> why What's was I Vienna putting this sausage? in my mouth? It's like a processed, like, canned sausage. Mm. I don't know if I've ever had one. Is it like really a... from Vienna? No. Most of them are probably made in Ohio. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, how to get that name? That's it the was need originated there? That's the industry in the world. Is it? No, I don't fucking know. I, just I gotta it. look up more about Vienna sausage later. People are saying same. Maybe it's a it's a real problem. I, I, I don't know what Vienna, Ohio, actually. Oh. This I just assume sausage is Vienna. I don't, I don't think I'm like making thing. I might be, but I don't think I am. Ryan, stop it. Vienna, <laughs> MA. It's Massachusetts. It's named. It's actually not named after. 
<laughs> Vienna, Austria. Really? I really didn't know. Ah, that. you fucker! <laughs> You kept pushing me, I was gonna push you! Well, I can't deny oh, that. There's one person in chat really wants me to talk about chicken and Subway or some shit. Oh, know. it's that... the oh. Subway... It's like half tofu or some shit? It's half soy protein. Soy yeah. protein, yeah. So yeah, who cares? Yeah, I'm kinda right. with you. That sounds fine. I, I think, think we're, we're like... Already. Like, I think I've talked about something else before, but people are like, Oh man, you see how hot dogs are made? It's gross. I'm never having a hot dog again. It's but like... like soy, it's, like... I would rather have that than something that's like not something, right? How so? And they I mean, also they make it taste it good, too. yeah. Like the like problem with like healthy shit is that it's gross usually. I was, was still sick. trying to determine if they're actually serious that it was a real problem or not. So it's like, it might not even be true. I was like so with you guys until your reasoning came out, and now I'm just more confused than ever. What are you confused about now? You're you're happy that it's half soy because you perceive that as being healthier than being half chicken. No. I guess that's a no. good point. No, because if it's going to be healthy at least because if oh, you like fucker. Add, if they're going to like add no. a bunch of shit into you it, I'd rather it be like soy plant based. So you're like, I ordered chicken. I didn't expect chicken. I expected chicken in something. At least the something is pretty not bad for you. Yeah, it could be something worse, right? Yeah, yeah, that's probably right. Well, if they could make it all soy, then it would remove the meat, which is like a good thing. I don't you know. know. I mean, chicken's pretty it's good for you. No, Not but it, I'm just saying if we have something that tastes like chicken and, and you couldn't tell the difference, but it wasn't chicken, that's a bonus. What if it was cockroach meat? Nick. I'm kind of of the opinion that I don't, I don't really care how the sausage is made. As long I'm as it tastes... I'm not sure what the actual dimension... <laughs> I burped like midway through that. That was kind of gross. <laughs> kind of. It tasted like turkey sausage. You had turkey sausage today? Yeah. Like oh. the little, they're like little Slim Jim turkey sausage. Mm, okay, yeah. Logical <laughs> extreme. That's good. Anyway, I'm not sure the, the size of the, the parcel box. Maybe I'll tweet it later. Well, I wish Austin would just take a picture of the box so you understand. Yeah, Austin, take a picture <laughs> no. of the box. With a take rule. a picture of your parcel box and I'll tell you if it'll fit. It's outside. Well, mine's in the kitchen. So that's like inside. <laughs> yeah, but it's still not in this room. Could be. <laughs> what if Josh is a really long apartment? Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, he owns it. Oh, yeah, so. he doesn't I, have an apartment. I have a house. He has a house now. Yeah, I forgot. Rub it in, buddy. This guy has a house. You worried he got enough room to accept a package? Well, yeah, I have, not gonna it's a, put it's a it row house, so like, what the fuck? Dude, I, Dude, I don't have like a porch or nothing. You don't He's have... taking it to your door. He's not yeah. putting it in the parcel box. Why? I, I got the parcel box for people to put it in <laughs> Whoa. the parcel, parcel box. box. Thanks for that. Parcel box. <laughs> My favorite Jedi. I didn't get a parcel box for people not to use it. He's just going to leave it in front of your house. No, they they're not going to take do it that. back to the post office, though. They're not going to take it back to the post office. They're not going to do that. Hey, can you just store this like raw meat here until somebody comes to they pick it up? They don't know what it is. They know what it, it's the special delivery man. It is. The you dude does. That guy keeps track of where everything's coming. Yeah, from? it's not the it's not like uh, the the normal mail person just comes over and goes like, hey, I get you know a couple of letters and here's your dinner. There's like a man who comes around. And he's like, all I'm doing today is delivering Why is it tangelos, you know, because <laughs> because they're a terribly run corporation. <laughs> I won't yeah. speak. Well, you mouth. said this was for your red red maple. This is red maple, yeah. It's totally different than Blue Apron. It's called <laughs> Red Chef Set. <laughs> I just got a blast processing achievement. Oh wow. I don't know what Sega I does what Nintendo don't. Does Canada have FedEx coverage? What did we're in 21st century we get FedEx up here? Do you? I don't think FedEx would bring it back to the post office. That doesn't make any sense. I'm I'm very confused about the world that you inhabit. Nick, you just don't trust anything. Like you don't trust banks. You don't trust ATM. I and don't trust anything the with you don't trust ATM. Anything where the chain of custody is broken for even like a <laughs> millisecond is suspect. <laughs> I don't trust deliveries because they fucked me over so many times. 
I had this guy that was coming from Time Warner Cable, and I waited next to the door. That's and he Time Warner. That's not delivery. What was he delivering? So quietly, <laughs> he, was delivering. he came and left, even though I was standing right next to the door by the driveway. I'm still very bitter about that. That's Time Warner, but that's not FedEx. He was delivering. You can't blame FedEx internet, for what though. Time Warner did. <laughs> It's just deliveries. He's coming to do a thing at my house. He's he delivering shit. He's is he delivering bringing you a modem at the time? CD-ROM with 250 hours of internet access for with the month of March. Nine million words. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a problem with <laughs> delivery before. Triple A. <laughs> oh, thanks, Josh. Really appreciate that. What happened? You went through the shortcut and hit the walls. Oh yeah. Slowed <laughs> me down. He I slowed you down. So quietly. And no, then it was a problem. And then he never came back. This is not relevant to the Blue Apron situation, though. You recognize the reason people buy stuff online is the convenience of having it delivered. Part of it, at least. No. You're, you guys are introducing problems into the, the cyberspace. Current events. I just don't trust people coming by the house when they think they have a thing and they might not want to give it to me. That's what, like, sometimes Sinvicta's like, they'll just be in a Skype chat and he'll be like, there's a dude. At he my, always says at, hi, Rob. He does say hi, Rob, a lot. But sometimes he'll just be like, there's, like, a dude at my door. And I'm like, yeah. is that a crime in America? To, or in Texas, at least? You tell me, Austin. Uh, I mean, if you're, like, in a private property on Texas, they, they people, you don't go to those you don't go to a, someone's house in texas i mean if you don't have business you. there but you like, put up that sign that says beware of dog and also the cat's a little weird too <laughs> that's a weird i mean if it's like a suburb you can go knock on whoever's door you want you know you might piss them off but no, you gotta piss there. someone <laughs> off by knocking on their door people don't like to be disturbed i like people knock on my door it sounds like they're pre-disturbed to be honest <laughs> with you <laughs> no some dude the other day Came and knocked on my door at fucking nine in the morning, and I was Did sleeping. You stand your ground. Okay. No, I was sleeping. He woke me up, and I, I didn't answer the door. I just begrudgingly got angry and went back to sleep. Yeah, I'm okay with that. But uh, there was also some other guy. I told you guys, but he knocked on the door at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. was, That's was, too was much. Someone, That's too was, late. Yeah. Don't knock on people's doors unless you have business. Don't say it like that. I didn't mean to. That was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had this Jehovah's La uh, Witness lady Jehovah's come to the door. Lady. Je Jehovah's <laughs> Witness lady come to the door, and I, I scared myself with how much I didn't want to talk to her. Right. Yeah. Like I went to the door and answered it, and she was like, "You want to talk about this?" And I stared. I like did, looked her dead in the eye. I was like, "I don't think it's any of your business what I believe." You said that. <laughs> I like. I kind of lost control of myself. Oh my god! I scared <laughs> myself. <laughs> I think those are literally the words I used too. Oh my god, dude. Jesus, dude. Lord, that's so I mean, good. Jesus, but... <laughs> that's the way. I don't any of And it stuck in my mind because, like, I've never said anything like that before to somebody. <laughs> I'm provoked for the most part. Oh, man. I'm just, Nick, I've never heard you say anything like that either. I, I wish I had a video clip of that. any of your business. <laughs> that is so good. What did she say? She was like, leave? She uh, she sort of like was taken aback a little bit by how strong I went on and just was like, all right, uh, yeah, okay, we'll leave then. Sorry, sorry to bother you. And after you just live roasting someone in front of your house, dude. After she drove up the whole mountain as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, do you think she closed the door? I was like, wow, what an asshole. No, they well, don't I say closed that. the door for her because she left. No, nice. I just meant like I, she was leaving under her breath. Oh. I don't care what she said. Whoa! <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it's any of our business what she said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ever think, like, <laughs> in, like, the 1950s, door-to-door -door sales made sense, you know? There was no internet. There were, like, shopping malls and stuff like that. But, you know, people were at home sometimes during the day. It makes sense. Somebody comes by and is like, hey, you want to buy a vacuum cleaner? And you're like, no. Um, fair enough. If somebody's selling something door-to-door... -door, in the year 2017, it can't be worth buying, right? I don't know, probably not, yeah. I mean, if I would have heard yeah. of it, surely. You know, see, I got um, scammed you know, by somebody like that, too. It, 
What happened? I, see, this is why I don't want to go to the door anymore, because everybody's trying to fuck you over lately. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I agree. <laughs> this guy said he moved to our community recently, and he's, like, a veteran, and he needed money to do something, and he has to... Like, it was a big whole story. And in the end, I was just like, all right, dude, like, if you just moved in... Then sure, I'll give you thirty bucks or whatever you're looking for. Like, no, <laughs> thirty is such a weird you number. Give, no, don't it's give anyone like, money man, unless they're like Girl Scouts and you're exchanging money for like cookies. Man, chat's that. gonna spam low T now because you just went from highest T to lowest. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and chronologically, this story happened after the other story. Oh so my wow! Went down. You, just, wow. You, you just used all your T up on that I lady. <laughs> I'll just stop telling this story because it doesn't end well for me. I lost some money. Well, I got screwed like that once as well. Like, I was downtown in my college town, and this guy walks up to me, and he goes, uh, Hey, can you help me? And it's not a big city. It's like a, it's a, it's like 100,000 people. So, it's a small city. I, there's not yeah, a we huge... we all know how, how big Toronto is. Look, yeah, it's Toronto, Ontario, before <laughs> the population explosion. Um, and I, I was like, yeah, he's going to ask me for directions on how to get, like, the gas station or something like that, right? Yeah, and I said, "Sure, buddy. What's up?" And he says, "I haven't eaten anything. Can you give me some money?" And then I only had a twenty in my pocket, and I was like, "All right, here you go." What? I, but this what? was—I was like eighteen, so I—he scammed me with a—he built a yes ladder. It's a common sales technique. You know, first you say you're going to help him, and then he hits you with another question, and you're like, implicitly, you're like, well, I already said yes to the, that Some I'd help him. fallacy. Exactly, dude. <laughs> Which is why now, whenever any stranger tries to speak to me in Vancouver, I'm sorry, you know. No. Don't Wh ever talk whatever, to me. Whatever sorry, the answer to your... I have a wife. Yeah. <laughs> from me. I have a gun. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I have a wife and a gun. My wife <laughs> is my gun. Yeah, I believe that. People like you are the reason people ask me for money. Oh, that must be so hard for you. I'm sorry that I made your life hard by giving money to a homeless dude on one occasion in my entire life. By the way, give me your money. Yay, yeah, you sucker. <laughs> hey, chat, can you guys help me? <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten two granola bars today, and I'm really hungry. If you could uh, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. Your Twitch Prime also, subscriptions might have been. Uh, I wish. I wish you guys. The guy's story wasn't as simple, by the way. It's just like I'm a veteran. Can I have some money? He was like raising money for this thing to do with calendars or like. Now that's something a growth something industry. To with, something to do with kids that he was trying to help, and he was trying to get something off the ground, and it, you know, at the time it was just like, okay, this is a long story, but. Since you put so much time into explaining it to me, clearly something in there must have been legitimate, I guess. That's more than a D-Box ticket, so I hope he sh at least shook the shit out of you. Yeah. Well, he he got like 65 bucks out of me. 65 bucks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said it was $30! No, it started at 30 and then I asked if I could give him 30 and then he said, no, it's gotta be this much because of this reason and that What?! Reason. Did you what? just, like... Mix they up two me... encounters with the way you should have reacted to both of them. Like, yeah, I, feel I think like you so. Should... You just tangelloed. Well, he was super, super nice, and he was like really, really upfront and like really, like in the moment. And he was like shaking my hand, and he was like he had all the stuff that made it seem like he was trained by someone to be like super, super polite. So like that gave him an air of credibility that you know after the fact probably didn't make a lot of sense. Why? So I was just going along with sh with shit, and I shouldn't have done that. Why are people robbing other people? If you just go up and ask them for sixty-five dollars, apparently that's the. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't just ask for money. He said it was for a reason. <laughs> Although it obviously probably would have been easier to just say it's not for a reason. I'm just a veteran. I need money. That would have been hey, more straightforward. Hey, Chad, I'm a veteran. I need money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need about $35, but you can only give it to me in $60 increments. <laughs> but the woman who came to the door offering you uh, eternal salvation, you roasted her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next stop talking. <laughs> It's like, it like the people at Fry's when I bought my Switch. They were adamant about getting protection for your Switch. Yeah. 
Like they, they I don't mean like they were like, do you want uh, protection for your switch? It was like a half mobile thing, right? Because so, 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 like normally when they do that thing, it's like, do you want this? And you're like, no. And like, well, you know, you can do this and this. And it's like, no, nah, no thanks. And then that's usually the end, right? They wouldn't let up. They, they, I, they asked. I said no. They asked again. I was like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. But they're like. I mean, it's a new console. You never <laughs> know these things might break. It's only twenty bucks for two years. And I'm like, no, thank you. He's like, look, man, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm like, dude, give me the fucking console. You leave me alone. And they did. They did the same thing to the guy next to me too. We kind of looked at each other. We were like, are these guys serious? We both said no like three times. Yeah, yeah. they're taught to push past no's. It's they have margins. Well, we push past so. about like six or seven no's. Yeah. That's probably a few more than you're supposed to, uh, but, you know, sometimes they just teach you just don't ever stop. <laughs> Until they just don't buy the thing and then you yeah. don't have the money at all. <laughs> they know they've got demand on their side. Do they? No. Oh, you Dr. Eggman. Oh. Got him! Austin. Sucks to be back here, doesn't it, Josh? <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna, look out. I'm gonna end you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in ninth We're place and I shot a rocket back at you. That's harsh. Also, thank you for those couple of subscriptions. Uh, this veteran really needs it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Josh needs it so you can at the end. buy a bigger parcel box. Thank I you. do. It's the one that can fit Blue well. Apron in it. I actually like, not because I want you to suffer, Austin, but yeah. I kind of want your console to break now, just so that you have to go back and face the man who tried to sell it to you, even knowing that you were in the right. You gotta and kiss his name being Jesus. Too. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta kiss the ring and be like. I can't believe you didn't trust a man named Jesus. <laughs> I uh, I hope it doesn't break. Honestly, a lot of money, man. I don't think it's any of my business what his name is. <laughs> I hope your Switch doesn't break, Austin. I appreciate that. I mean, now that I've beaten Zelda, it can break all the time. Like, I'm gonna play another right. game on the damn thing. Can I just have it then? No. Okay. I gotta have it. Nah, he, on it. He probably got super fired for not reaching his sales targets. I mean, <laughs> uh, what the? Maybe like a little bit too real, but at the same time, like, you shouldn't blame the salesperson. Maybe if they had something worth selling, you know, you're actually selling nothing. Yeah, that is true. Like, I just feel bad. Like, I'm I'm never gonna buy the insurance at a physical game store because I understand that I'm not gonna throw my Switch off the fucking rooftop, but... But it would be covered if you did. Would it, though? No, it wouldn't. Yeah, see? <laughs> no. Like, if you run over your Switch and then complain that it didn't hold up to your car's weight, I wouldn't... <laughs> nobody would help you. What if I had said, like, I don't know, I just found it like this one day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I woke up. Here's you know, I, there's a case to be made that if that was true, maybe... Maybe? <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. In that situation, I would have probed for more information to try and figure out if you were lying to what, me. What, are you a cop or something? Probably... Yeah. Nick, well, you, you have, have to tell us. You. I Actually, it's not your fucking business if you're <laughs> I mean, what if what if I go? I ran over with my fucking car. What do you care? I'm a veteran. Yeah. <laughs> gonna give you know what? Bucks. Give me the keys to this place. <laughs> I mean, I would have stopped at that point. Mm -hmm. He had a beard. Quite a bit. You know, like a scraggly beard. Is no, it... I don't think he did have a beard. He's actually clean shaven. It looked like he had a, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, he's making mad money out there. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> He is living large and laughing easy. We still have a fucking hour of this show. I can't so. believe it. Like, that segment That's was horrible. Great. This is like the slowest show. At least we <laughs> could fucking get into a lobby in less than 45 minutes this time. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, see you in three minutes, chat. See you in three minutes. Also, I apologize. Well, not that bad. It was pretty oh, bad. I thought we were saying some funny stuff. No? <laughs> I like the part where, we're, you know, half of us had a stroke about a fruit that we didn't know existed. Well, the way you explained it to me still makes no... It made no sense at the time. Well, because I was explaining it without understanding the situation. I, I still didn't know at the time of me explaining it, so that only made it more confusing. 
but you kept mm. saying Tangelo. Yeah. But then you said it's a tangerine, but well, it's, it's not a tangerine, though. I told you because when I started, I tried to explain this, when I started talking, I thought that a tangelo was a tangerine. Wait, Why? is... I don't know, because I got super that? flooded. I, I completely confused the shit out of myself. Wait, are we still playing Sonic? No. No, we're going to play Quiplash. Oh, okay. Jackbox.tv. Can I do subscriber shoutouts and stuff? I, I'm just going to go to the bathroom and take a piss, which, All you right. know. So you might as well, you know, do the same thing, but with your mouth into the microphone while I'm gone. Doesn't bother me. Gross. Face off, 103. Two months. Headache Queen, 29 months. Scrotty, eight. Chiantris, 20 months. Holy fucking shit, 20 months. Brolar, man, this Isaac Mon is dope. Uh, let's see here. Kefka, 40. Infested Ducks. Dr. Greg Plus? Red... Oxio, I don't know. Sub the tank, Diofin, <laughs> donated $35 to this veteran. I'm not Nick, you're only getting this much. Uh, Arugula, one, two, three, four, and Headache Queen donated 30. Heard you're a veteran that needed help. Thank you all very much for the subs and donations to this, to this starving vet who has a mortgage and is able to pay it on time. I love you guys. Hi, Josh. Hey! Oh, hi there. Bear, do you know what a tangelo is? Tangelo. No, what's that? <laughs> I still don't really it know. It might be a tangerine, but we're the, not quite sure. The uh, bush Pokemon? Yeah, that's what I said. How do you say that one? Tangela? 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 Tangela, I think. Yeah, I always thought it was just like Tangled. Tangela. Tangled? Yeah, like the movie Tangled. I thought that was what that creature was from. Are you sure? Wait, no. that's the the lady with the long blonde hair, right? Yeah. Tangled. <laughs> Someone tweeted us. They just had a pomelo at the ready and cut it open while they were <laughs> watching the show. I think my 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 exploit died. I don't know. What kind of died? Like it just froze. Shut off. Well, like actually, everything on my computer kind of died. Let's control and delete this bitch. Oh, there it is. It's nope. It's <laughs> that's what happened to me in Sonic. Maybe Everything sh back. like shut down <laughs> except it fixed when I closed Sonic. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey. hey Ryan. Oh, hey Bear. How you doing? Good. 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 That's good to hear. That's what's good. a what's a tangelo? It's a mixture of a tangerine and a pomelo, also known as a grapefruit. Mellow. Yeah, a, a pomelo is just a grapefruit for people who make less than $55,000 American a year. <laughs> <laughs> is it a regional grapefruit? Or no, I think it's actually just... A, it's what you call a grapefruit if you've ever been to Europe. I was having oh, a so wonderful like a, like pomelo. A capsicum thing? Exactly. It's exactly like a capsicum thing. It's similar in appearance to a large grapefruit native to South and Southeast Asia. I told you. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> Europe, just like a but technically, yeah. South Asia, that is continental Europe. That's, That's what I always call it. Is South you can just Asia. follow it the whole way. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi, NL. I really <laughs> no stop. I really <laughs> need your help. My roommate is fifty six and smells like chicken stroganoff. It is that just your like your dad or something like? <laughs> That's fucking weird. Well, sorry, does about he just your dad. really like chicken stroganoff? By the way, I have to tell you, Nick, get in the game as well. Oh, I didn't know we had a password already. <laughs> I, I have to tell you that our uh, our version of Blue Apron came during the last segment. I go into the fridge. No way. What the fuck is... No, there's no Tangelos. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> what the fuck is a smashed bean thigh? Because that is written on one of the labels. We got, you know, rice cake skillet. No problem there. We got something else. I don't remember what it is. And then smashed bean thighs. Well, underneath the bean plant, it's just, it's just two <laughs> legs in the ground. <laughs> you don't hear about them often. That makes sense. 
Smashed bean thighs. Hello, I don't know what it is. I, to I didn't even know what, where to begin thinking about what that is. I want you to know Sometimes they cheated you out of the smash it. I mean, <laughs> well, it sounds like they come pre-smashed. What if it's just a really like hipster thing and it's just like a bean cut in half and smashed? <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> this is the thigh of the bean. They're actually bean thighs. Is that? Is that your? That was your hipster I can just do potion seller if you want. I mean, yeah, don't stay off my turf. <laughs> don't you potion seller? <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> what is this problem? What? <clears throat> this is the pomelos are the original. Grapefruits are the hybrid. What? Well, I mean, obviously a grapefruit is just the hybrid of a okay. grape and a fruit. Let's see. <laughs> And the pomelo is a Pomeranian mixed with Carmelo Anthony of the New York Knicks. Uh, see, Bear gets it. It's a basketball joke. I'm thinking. I'm thinking too hard. <laughs> I, I, I already hate this first thing. I don't know what to say. This is like the first round warm-ups, right? Yeah. Um, Playing Fury for the first time on my side. Mm. I thought this would be a game that I didn't have to concentrate very hard on. <laughs> uh, Chad, if you ever see it freeze frame, it's just because I'm entering Quiplash prompts. Oh! Oh, I got it! No! Give me time, 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 give me time. <laughs> I think Ryan turned into Dan all of a sudden right there for a second. Okay, it's a great answer. I cheated for this answer, but it's great. How did you cheat? You got one second. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's I hit the button. Whips. Starting us off. Control, Control shift alt six is the little known keyboard shortcut to do this. To do this. Format your hard drive to only have the thing on it. Or run the ASCII <laughs> porn version of Star Wars. Oh, that's a good one. Wait, no. I've just seen the ASCII version of Star Wars, not the porn version. No, no, yeah, this is a different. This is there's, a different shortcut. There's an ASCII porn. Version? There's an ASCII version of Star Wars you can run on a MacBook, I think. Yeah. Really? The, the yeah. Really? Yes. Keyboard I didn't know that. For it. Yeah. But I don't think there's a porn version of it. No, I'm pretty sure there's not. Unless you there's hit Control porn? Shift Alt Six. Yeah. You think there's like some guy looking at Twitch emote like metrics and <laughs> this spike in the thing usage? Like <laughs> four four <laughs> times a week, there's like a huge the thing spike. <laughs> Run the ASCII porn version of Star Wars. And next, it got a quick flash. A bed bug review of your mattress. A little on the large side or lots of tasty flakes. <laughs> you see, a bed bug is quite small, so. The mattress is truly enormous <laughs> relative to the size of the bed bug. I don't get it. I like tasty flakes. Yeah. Thanks. That's mine. There's, there's branding potential with tasty flakes. I voted yeah. for tasty flakes. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I think he's trying to mind flood you. I'm not he's, at all. Yeah, he is. You're mind flooding. Well, lots of tasty flakes. Got a quiplash. I voted for it. I don't believe him still. <laughs> says it up there <laughs> on the screen, but you know what? It's a healthy degree of skepticism, so I support that. The worst part about having your human brain living in a robot body. It probably, like, just sucks, you know? Or you have to find Dr. Wowie. <laughs> oh, there's the first Josh answer of the day right there. <laughs> I gotta find the end. What is find Doctor Wow? What is this? You don't say emote. Uh, is that new? No, that's old. I think. That's old. I think so. I've never seen oh, that. Oh man! Did you guys? Did you guys catch one of the new Twitch news? You can make your own custom animated emotes. Yeah, I did see that. What? Yeah, you can make your own custom uh, gift uh, emotes for cheering now. No yeah. way! Yeah, it just yeah, came man. out today. 
How many do each part? Is it just an emote slot? I think just one. No, you can do all. Five. You can do all five. You can do oh, every, really? every oh, so denomination you up to uh, up to two hundred and fifty. No, 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 no. I, I think he means like, can you do one emote five times, or can you do a whole bunch of those emotes five times? <laughs> oh, uh, when I you don't... cough up blood, you should be concerned. Thank you, when Josh. You cough up <laughs> memes, you should be terrified or pomelo. <laughs> Did can they not spell pomelo right? That's too many L's for pomelo. I don't know how to spell pomelo. It's That's a mixture of a Pomeranian and Jello, which we don't <laughs> condone on this show. <laughs> what the fuck? How do I play this game? <laughs> Type in the answer, then you vote on the one that you think. Uh, no, like Fury is really weird. Pomelo has won. <laughs> okay. I put on cave story music in the background. Oh, dude, which one? The, the soundtrack? It's a great, it's a great soundtrack. I don't think I can even buy Pomelo. <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks 12, pole vaulting over a giraffe, or Alvin and the Chipmunks 12, die harder, er, 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 Oh, Are there 12 of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, he's done it, he gets the win. <laughs> but that's stupid, because that would imply that it's like the 13th movie in the film. Or in the franchise. Still catch Because the first one should be called out. Die Hard. And yeah. then Die Harder or what? Oh shit, you're right. There should be one less. <laughs> it's still one. Against the safety clip. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a bad safety quip for the situation. I gotta give the game credit for that. You tricked uh, about 130 people into voting for it, so. Wait, 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 did I win the robot one too? Yeah, no, you lost that one. An alternate, an alternate <laughs> name for meatloaf. Inferior way to have meat or Michael a day. That's meatloaf. I don't. Ah, oh, 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 do it. I didn't know, I didn't wow. know his last name. A That's Michael a, a day. You all, I, I was about to put that too. So you're welcome for the not jinx. Well, that's the one that uh, Ryan had to look up, obviously. You guys think you're oh, so fucking shit. smart. Well, if Austin wouldn't have said anything, it wouldn't have got my vote. Well, I didn't it. know his last name. Instead, it got a quiplash, so thanks, Austin. No, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember that's the same one that won last time I got this prompt, so I was trying to just be you know, <laughs> different. But it's... His name is actually Marvin a day. All right, oh, well, okay. you know, whatever. Free quiplash. <laughs> Wait, didn't you look it up? Yeah, but it was really <laughs> fast. Like, <laughs> you just saw like it's no, so his name. I, I got a bunch of shit for no. Harriet S. Truman. Or his whatever. name is Michael a day. Michael oh, Lee a day. What to say? Michael Lee a day, a day. Michael Lee a day. What is that emote? Are they trying to flutter minds with a different emote now? That's uh, D Yoshi TV. D Yoshi TV. I met that guy at Tokyo Game Show. Sick. But I don't like how current events the emote is, you know? It's like, uh, honestly, I don't think it's any of Chance Business what I believe. Uh-huh! need a jack. Oh my god, dude, yeah, I am actually perfect. Extremely uh... mind flooded. <laughs> it's crazy how emotes can do that. I still love the the thing spam and you miss the shot shot in the for the, for the <laughs> Yeah. Not the shot shot. Skeet shot, there we go. Oh, I fucking smoked that one out of the park. I I could have done better now that I think about it. You got 12 I got seconds. I think I jinxed super hard, unless someone who wasn't here for the first two segments right, is up against me. I wasn't. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, worst <interrogation laughs> the worst interrogation would have a good cop, a bad cop, and a blank cop. On his last nerve before snapping cop or a dog cop. They've had a dog cop before. It was pretty good. Turner and Hooch. Yeah. I don't and think that would be a terrible interrogation. Turner and Tooch. Right. And then Turner and Toocher. Er, er. Hooch is crazy. Yeah, he is. Oh, I miss Scrubs. <laughs> it's a good show. It's not Me that too. good. 
Oh, shut terrible. up. Yeah, you honestly. shut your <laughs> butthole mouth. They make light of medical See, issues. See, this is what I hate, is that we didn't even say it was great. We said it was good, but you still had to say, I just said I miss it. Good. I mean, yeah. it's good, but it's no, like, um... Ancient. But that's the thing, that's all we said. So it's we no... didn't even interject with, it's not that good. I don't good. even believe it. You, say, you, say you think it's right. bad. I mean, I mean, it's like, it's good relative to bad shows. What? Tell me, tell me, it's no, finish your- It's no Ancient Aliens, is what I was gonna say. I'm gonna oh. end so <laughs> You see, the joke is that I was joking the whole time. A rejected section of the King James Bible, the part where Jesus sells someone the Nintendo Switch, or the part where Jesus got them hoes. The part where Jesus- The part where Jesus sells someone a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Current <laughs> events. I am <laughs> rat. NL, you are hardly funny. Well, that means I'm at least a little funny, so... Gotcha. Mm -hmm. mm, joke's on you, I was just pretending to be stupid. <laughs> Sell what, someone what? a Nintendo Switch has won. Oh. oh, them girls! Should not wear white. A time you absolutely should not wear white. A Hot it's Topic wedding time. or St. Patrick's Day. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, everybody yeah. practical. That everybody spam Sir Scoots or that's not Sir Scoots, that's PR Chase. Everybody spam PR Chase in chat. That's that. Bring him back. It's just the it's just the man's face. It's Chase's face. What's like let's just Google like the least used Twitch emote and just it make was, it was it was PR Chase. Oh, okay. We might have elevated it though, I don't know. You can Do Google that sort of thing? Oh sure. Just yeah, they got track alpha. analytics. Is very Do you think that Chase is like just out there, like there's something wrong with my face? <laughs> <laughs> Poor hot, Chase. Hot topic wedding is one. His face starts tingling when we start using a <laughs> predetermined amount of the emotes on Twitch. My people need me. A road sign that would cause you to turn around. Watch out for the old lady you just hit, or watch out for NLSS meme section. Oh, that's this. Watch out. <laughs> this is actually like the whole show, almost. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most meme section, though. How was segment That's one? True. Is it the make up for it? Segment one was alright. I like that the was... new NLSS meta where we just discuss what's gone on in the current show. Well, I see it like like the NLSS <laughs> is <laughs> like... <laughs> the NLSS is like whitewater rafting. You're either like moving the water forward to propel the show, or you're trying to steer in an absurd direction and like keep like, the, the direction going in a sensible place. Instead, it was like, you know, someone was trying to keep the water going, and then everybody else just jumped in and said, Hey, you stupid water! Your water is stupid! What if your water was like this instead? And then, it's pretty much Why how this whole... Why isn't it pudding? <laughs> hey, you know what's cool about water? I mean, what if water was pudding instead? Or what if you had a little glass of water that was made out of lightning they bolts? Made a movie all about the life of... Yeah. You're gonna finish the... No. Oh, you can't because you, one of these is your answer. A beetle no. that didn't do anything interesting, or those arguing Amazon Echoes on Twitch. Oh yeah, is that thing still going on? Probably. They're making a movie about it. Is Are it they? It's a United very surprising movies? movie. Henlo water. Hen <laughs> Henlo, you stinky water. water. Where did <laughs> Henlo Hen Hen come from? I don't know Hello, that. Yeah, I want to know. Hello, Nick. Nick. Hello, you stinky Nick. Go play a platform. Yeah, go ugly. play a Metroidvania, ugly. <laughs> I did. I played 40 hours of Hollow Knight. <laughs> what Zane? Thinking? What Zane from One Direction will be doing when he's 40? So many drugs still, or probably your mom's chat. Your probably, probably your, your mom's chat. Yeah, this is important. Inflection his mom's there. what? It's Wait, your no mom's a Twitch streamer, and they're gonna do his mom's chat? Probably no, your mom's this doesn't oh, chat. Yeah, that, Lane. Might, that might be it. Like, How do you do your mom's chat? Sammy Zany. One at a time? How many chats does your mom have? Have you guys ever heard of a fucking apostrophe? Apostrophe. Good if we were whitewater rafting, who would be the rudder? What's the rudder? <laughs> I don't think there's a rudder. They don't have that. a rudder. <laughs> you put somebody on the back. I've, I've been in whitewater rafting. You've you been whitewater rafting? You... Yeah. Tell me about it. How was it? You put it? somebody on the back. You got like everybody on the sides of the Do raft, and you to... put somebody on the back of the raft, and they're the ones like basically steering the ship. Do they have to like be like big? I mean, like, it's generally a good idea to have a good anchor weight. Why? Yeah. This time. 
It's just, it's it's an anchor, you know? It's like it keeps the whole thing centered. <laughs> you don't want an anchor in your boat when you're moving. <laughs> you, don't a, you don't use an anchor in a white water. is not literally to be an anchor. It's just like, you know. So they're not really a rudder, and they're not really an anchor. Well, they're a person. Okay. Are they a tangerine? Hello, you I'm anchor! Gonna, I've been, like, twice. I'm not an expert on the damn subject. But... That makes you an expert. As far as I'm concerned. What, right. did you... Did a place of work take you on a team building exercise? Nah, it was a, we, we had a group of friends. We went every year. It was like a little annual trip to Wyoming. That you d you did twice. Yeah, I'm just I'm just <laughs> I'm not a very good friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was there like three or four times, but I've only gone actually rafting like. Twice. Okay, I see. You know, I'm just trying to find the inconsistencies in the story. See, right now I'm being the water. And you're steering, <laughs> and I'm Here's trying. The rudder. I'm throwing some like some choppy waves in your way, and you got to navigate the slalom. Judo choppy. You got a six. So seconds, if I by just start shouting obscenities while you're making jokes, I'd be the rocks. No, you would actually just be like, I don't know, Let's the business putting guy. us out of business, basically. Yeah, you'd, you'd be the guy who's. Footing? You'd be the guy who's like, I can flip over the boat and fuck everybody. Silver and bronze medals. Mathis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You would be <laughs> Math. See that time. <laughs> You navigated the rocks, man. Okay. I got, I got way too <laughs> mentally invested in the conversation. You couldn't do anything. So squeeze. you just put squeeze? <laughs> yeah, just put squeeze. Super Mario 3 wanted? Squeeze Land. WarioWare Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze these bees while you please the knees. One, two, squeeze. And squeeze your PC muscles 2015. Who <laughs> just put squeeze? <laughs> squeeze the bees while you please your knees is a Rob answer. No, mine's what? not Super squeeze Mario 3 good. Squeeze Land, it's Super Mario 3 Squeeze Land. <laughs> Wouldn't it just be Super the Dash? Mm, yeah. We three squeeze of the Super time. Mario Squeeze E Land. Should have been what? Super Mario Sun Squeeze. Squeeze E World. Wait, I had, I had, I had World Super Mario Super Squeeze Shine in there. I'm disappointed no one wrote okay, Mind if I roll medals. squeeze. Oh! No, uh, we've moved on past that silver. meme. Yeah, but it would have won. It would have been a callback that we got won. I, I have. <clears throat> Alright, last to first. So. Super Mario 3 Squeeze Land. Squeeze your PC that muscles 2015. WarioWare Squeeze. Squeeze. One, two, squeeze. <laughs> and squeeze the bees while you please the knees. That's good. Last answer, Bear. That's the end. Oh, yeah. the I'm real proud. Did I win? Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and the limb and say no. No. Yep, there you are. Not in first. <laughs> <laughs> As always. Yeah. Well, that's not true. Sometimes you you can beat Malf. I won before. You've won before? Yeah, I've won before. Tell him, chat. He's won before. Yeah, he's won before. Whoa, I like that voice. Whoa. Can we go deeper into that person? <laughs> it, was like, like, it, was, it was like a Sesame Street voice. Oh, hi. Now, I need this character to be actually like a 50-year-old man who's embezzling from his company. Oh, look at all this money. <laughs> <laughs> it's all mine. Well, this is a Bob's Burgers character, what, isn't it? What are you going to do with it? <laughs> I'm gonna bury it. <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> so good! That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have to be take away all my time to put in answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, I gotta cheer. Thanks. Thanks for cheering. I'm, I'm not streaming. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> what? What was the name of that fruit? No! <laughs> Don't even, man! <laughs> Thank Don't you. you dare jinx me! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what fruit? Don't even start with me. <laughs> I must have missed it. <laughs> oh, we lost Josh. <laughs> Suck it, you bald bitch. <laughs> 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 no, hey, that Shaggy Matt. Thanks for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Uh, man, I just, I don't even, I'm just gonna stream through your, your channel, Ryan. That's fine by me. It's what I do. We already yeah. established we're just gonna run the intro and then turn it off next yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
what lobsters think as they are being boiled. Man, this like sucks, you know? Or please serve me with a tangelo. <laughs> <laughs> it's already, a, you know, it's a good quip last when you're already doing callbacks from the previous round of quip. <laughs> it's a good answer. Uh, uh, <laughs> they just stopped giving me that prompt. <laughs> oh fuck! It's gonna quip flash. I want to get that. It quip flashed. I want to get how to do that voice. Yeah, dude, you should keep that one. That's pretty good. Yeah, Wait, keep that in that one. Oh no. This is somewhere up here. Oh my you god. Now? Have you aged uh, 30 years in the last yeah. five minutes? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think your greed has transformed you into some kind of Rumpelstiltskin esque monster. <laughs> yeah, it's a little golem there, yeah. I like yeah, this. I'm starting to lose a little bit. Is th are you Andy Circus? Well, who's that? That would be intense if he was. Who's that? You know who Andy Serkis is. Now. What it means when the flag is at three quarters staff. One quarter yeah, staff is guy. still left to bang, or someone doesn't know how to raise the flag. He was he was the mocap artist for Gollum, uh, King Kong. He also played uh, that one character in King Kong that gets eaten by the thing. Yeah, he's in the Prestige, and he is Nikola Tesla's assistant. Yeah, that's man. Weirdly, that was like spot on. I immediately knew who he was as soon as I pictured that character. I mean, yeah, it's definitely spot on because I mean, that's him. Yeah, well, no. Good, if good I idea, said that option. he played Caesar in you know the new Planet of the Apes movies, you're probably gonna picture a fucking monkey. That's why I gave you the character. Oh, that was yeah, played he was. By the... Yeah, he was Caesar. That is true. <laughs> one of these answers completely <laughs> blew the other one out of the water. When the stork isn't delivering babies, he making them. When the stork isn't delivering babies, he's making babies, baby. Baby? So, like, the first one, I just feel like the stork is the rock. <laughs> and that's why I voted for it. Yeah, I didn't read the entire prompt. No, I like it. Thanks, Josh. Next one. An odd, odd that one so, oh, geez, this one again. An odd sequel to James and the Giant Peach. <laughs> Dog! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got uh, two times James and the Giant Tangelo. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible scent for a car freshener. If the other answer says Tangelo, vote for me. Or J. Smith OTI. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would be a good smell. Uh, it smell like good stuff. What is the Tangelo? Oh, you don't, dude. <laughs> now everyone's just gonna think about what I smell like. Oh, it's Tangelo. What do you smell like, Josh? Good. I smell good. I think Tangelo. you smell good most of the time. Yeah. I'm never really, really out of there's, there's, really there's context to that sentence, oh. I feel like. Well, I mean, like, I, I'm trying to think, like, is Josh a stinky friend? No. I'm not I'm, yeah, he's, he's not no. a stinky friend. Not a stinker. Okay, next one. The hardest part about dating in 1892. Tinder kept resulting in third degree burns, or staying alive, goddamn 1892, you kidding me? <laughs> well, life comes at you fast. <laughs> <laughs> staying alive, goddamn. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hello, Josh. Hello, yeah, you yeah. stinky Josh. What is that? Go do your real job, ugly. Oh. <laughs> you see, the meme is first you say Henlo and then their name, and then you say Hello, you stinky your name, and then you say mm, Go do something you do, and then you put ugly at the end. Try it on for I size. I don't even know where it's from. You're right, Tito. Try it on for size. That's all for round one. All right. Here's the scoreboard. That was a good answer, Nick. Henlo, Ryan. Hey, hey, Nick. Hello. I don't you like this it. meme. You did it wrong. <laughs> you just Nick. said hen low. Hello. I don't know. That's I very, that was very kind of you. With it Hello, Ryab. Hello, you stinky Ryab. Sure. You gotta say he does the thing he does, yeah. right? Are you, are you going to say <laughs> Isaac? Oh, yes? He does do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that one. Hello, Sinvicta. <laughs> you stinky, Sinvicta. 
Go say hi to Rob more ugly. <laughs> oh! oh! Where's Rob? I'll you say hi now. He said uh, he's steam cleaning his walls, and then he put a winky ah. face. So Which, he's steam cleaning honestly, his walls. I mean, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't think I've ever generated enough steam to clean a wall. I see what you did there. <laughs> Wait, he put the winky face! He did it! He did put the winky, winky face. Winky face! I don't like that. Wait, Josh, was that you? Yeah. I want that to be the wife of Bear's Andy Circus impression. And she's like really superficial, so she pushed Bear to embezzle. And then she's just blowing the money on like stupid shit nonstop, so he keeps getting deeper and deeper into the hole. And her Winky thing face. is, exact, her thing is that she always adds an emotion to the end of every sentence by saying it like that. Do you have like some grand- You got all this money and now I'm spending it, Winky Face! See, okay, it's gone too far. Hello, Pokemon towards the end there. I like it. Hello, Pokemon! Hello, you stinky Pokemon! You can go release two games at a time, ugly! <laughs> Brian wants to embezzle from someone. I just don't know what, who or why. Well, you tell me, any circus. <laughs> a political slogan if a bear was running for president. Make America what the fuck I'm a bear again. Or make America steam cleaning his walls again. Who? Someone here needs to go see a neurologist. <laughs> I got mine flooded. Uh, current events. <laughs> What's this? Steam clean your walls? Look. <laughs> we talked about it about 45 seconds ago. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Spread the tangelo uh, part. Yeah, huh? Oh, I completely really missed it. What's okay, a tangelo, God. though? I'm oh, still wondering. God. The wrong thing to say after farting in church. Amen or praise Jesus. These are the right things. You go, sorry, I farted. It's a. It's a <laughs> wait, 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 what does that bastard say? <laughs> sorry, I farted. I farted. It's a long road ahead. <laughs> I think that was it. Praise Jesus. Is won by 25 votes. I didn't vote. Thanks, Josh. I didn't like those answers. <laughs> I didn't either. Your next prompt is Did you vote? How can you no, one of them was mine. Infected. How you can tell that your toe you is infected. <laughs> Henlo toe. You stinky toe. <laughs> Go get infected, ugly. Or consult your physician. <laughs> Hello. Well, there's Ryan's answer. That's not my uh, answer. Really? That's not my answer. That's gotta be Bear. So than... it's hello, Ryab. Hello, <laughs> it's Stinky Ryab. Henlo. Isaac. Ugly. Henlo. 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 Ryab. Yeah. Henlo, <laughs> you stinky Ryab. You got it, buddy. Go play Isaac. You ugly. No, <laughs> no, you. But that's you, you, you. got it, basically. <laughs> that was a quiplash, by the way. Yeah, that's fair. Go play Isaac, ugly. Something you don't want to hear from the guy driving your romantic horse-drawn carriage. What the fuck, I'm a bear, or I fed the horse x lax before this. How do you like them road apples? <laughs> I like this long-term investment strategy in the Quiplash answers here. Knowing that maybe one of them won't pay off, but you yeah. get some dividends on your way later on down the road. He's got to oh, try it out. Investments in future memes or meme yeah. futures. Quiplash just recycles its own memes in the same with sometimes within the same round. It's yeah, but like true. that's that's what you're saying. Like you got to invest up yeah. front. Uh, that's true. <laughs> you got to ride out the wave to Man, cash out in the end. That's a Quiplash as well. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm a bear. Why does it always work for Josh? <laughs> it always works for Josh. Always. <laughs> A rejected title for Hitler's book Mein Kampf. Minecraft or Henlo Hitler? <laughs> Henlo, it's me by Todd Rundgren. Th thanks, Hale Gaming, for the hundred cheer asking, what's a tangelo? <laughs> what, is, what is a tangelo? I'm, I, don't, I don't answer questions when I'm not streaming for any less than 500 bits. Wow. Yeah.
Hello from the other side. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I, I wanted to type out more of the Hello Hitler, but I was like, this could get dark way too quick. I like that. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Hello, you stinky darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Go talk to me again, ugly. The only thing the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Oh, and also, Bear's Andy Circus impression, or the inevitable embrace of death. But, like, I like Bear's Andy Circus impression. Thanks, so I don't want to vote for that. Doesn't it inspire, like, a little fear into your heart, though? Which one do you like more? In... I think I it's know. scary that Ryan wants to, like, continue to pursue the character development of two... That's a uh, worthwhile... We haven't had a good character since Ghost Bill. That was, like, five months ago. That was a long time ago. <laughs> it's Bear's Andy Circus impression. <laughs> Is he a yeah, smoker he... now? <laughs> What, they keep changing keep every This time? is like yeah. the Andy Circus that came back through like a portal th through time to tell young Andy Circus not to embezzle the money. <laughs> you, you gotta you gotta start it off as like a Muppet and then you turn into your second phase. Okay. Uh I don't know how to do a Muppet. Man. That's, like, you you gotta, that's how you did it the first time. That's right. You gotta put the bubble three, back the there. Last you lash, look alive because you're all yeah, the bubble. Hello from the outside. <laughs> Hello, you stinky circus. This word last <laughs> <laughs> Go have an elastic face, ugly. Well, it'll just be me, Riley, I guess. That's pretty good. <laughs> I like that one. <sighs> Fuck it. Oh, no. somebody gave me a little too. Stop that. Oh, they actually did it. All right. Well, now I got to figure out what a, what a tangelo is. If only people respected Ghost Bill this much before he died. I feel you on that one. Like, didn't we? It was Ghost Bill, and it was Bill Cosby, but Bill Cosby's still alive. So it was like. The ghost was split out of him while he was still living and went on to live a life in the ghost realm. Eating <laughs> eating ghost Cheetos. With ghost Cheeto dust. Exactly. Dude, if you're you eating you got Dorito, two seconds, by the way. Does that oh, mean that over. there's a ghost version of Damn that Dorito it. somewhere? Time to take a look. Where physiologically is a Dorito's now. soul? <laughs> <laughs> I think it what must is? be trapped in one of those bubbles you get, right? Yeah. Like, what are these answers? <laughs> Hello, squid, no you stinky squid. Go do an ink ugly. Squid me, baby, <laughs> one more time. Squid face juggalo rap part four. Squid city, no answer. And where the squids have no name. <laughs> I like that one. That's awesome. Of course, it's you. You're the only one who would do the YouTube. Is a citrus fruit hybrid of tangerine and pomelo or grapefruit. Oh. Hi, Lynn. There you go. Thanks, it. Bear. Thanks, Bear. I was, Thanks. That was bothering me. I didn't know. Thanks, Bear. Thanks, Thanks Bear. Bear. Thanks, Bear. Thanks, Josh. It should Just... say, Henlo Squid, oh, you inky squid. Okay, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. That was the oh, one. That hurts. That physically hurts. You still won, though. You can't okay. go back. And now the gold. Ryan, right, yes. Post the rest of the points. show as an old tiny sea captain. Nah, it's gonna be like really bad for my voice though. All right, host the show for like two seconds. Yar, the long. seas of memes be salty today, my friends. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep that now. I like that. I see a Tangelo hurricane on the right, and on the port side we have the Henlo Rapids. <laughs> rapids in the what, sea? What's, what's your name, rapids? sir? Who said we were on the open ocean? I just rent out a large pool on Tuesdays. Who won? <laughs> who's next? Who won? I don't know who won. Wait and see who's got the crown. Uh, Ryan, yes. can your name be Captain you Egghab? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you this far away from the shore. 
Versus round one. <laughs> you score. Sure. Did you say something? Captain Ahab. <laughs> Please issue your message in some sort of telegram format. Preceded by a breaker breaker. I <laughs> really good, but this game is fucking hard. Let's not bring our mothers into this. <laughs> <laughs> I like this answer. All right, the, the night is a win. I'm I'm happy with what I've done here. Hmm. All right, sure. No, I'm. I, I I was typing a fourth hand low, and I'm like, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. I mean, it won you the last game. Do the tutorial every single time. Are you doing <laughs> the Hitman tutorial? No, I'm playing Fury, and when I keep dying, the fight's like 15 minutes long, and then they restart you, and like, okay, this is how you slash. Yeah, the, uh, the 10 seconds. The best character was the guy who was really into old songs through old audio formats. That guy was pretty good. That was the I one that was, um... I heard the most delightful little ditty on oh, the Edison yeah. Cylinder. I love him. It went, happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you, and etc, etc. Happy birthday, dear. Insert your name here. It's a pantomime of sorts. He's the guy from Regular Show. I like that character. And happy birthday to you. An idea for a, like a potion seller. Yes. An idea for a really weird business. Rent a phone call. Wait, rent a phone to call an Uber or rent a Dorito. <laughs> yeah, rent These a Dorito. Good. You'd know, at the end of the Dorito rental, you'd have to give it back. Mm. Yeah. If That's they fun. if they want it, they come and claim it. They can they can have it. If you mm. want him, come and claim him. That's uh Arwen from that movie that you played Golem in. That's right. <laughs> Yar. Next one. Ah, it is the best alone, one. Uh, yeah, the uh, left one won. Rent a phone to call an Uber. A little, hey! a little known but fun moment at the Last Supper was when Jesus kick flipped over the table, or Judas betrayed Jesus Christ, the Son of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that works on a lot of different levels. Right? That was a fun <laughs> moment. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't know about it. This is my favorite answer, and the other answer is way better. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I like that. Did they know? Oh, you stinky Jesus! <laughs> Did they know it was the Last Supper when they were eating it? No. Oh. Yeah, they thought it was weird yeah. when it said the Last Supper on the invitation. They titled it that, yeah. <laughs> like that's kind of fucked, isn't it, guys? Wait, but I'm, like seriously, do they? Or did they? And do they? <laughs> Well, are you speaking of, like, yeah. in biblical terms? Did they know it was the Last Supper? I think, like, Judas knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only right answer there. <laughs> what cows are usually saying when they moo? Moo, because they're fucking cows, or oom? Um. I'm a fucking bear. <laughs> what the fuck, I'm a bear? That's what they should... <laughs> Oh, my God, why did no one use that one? That would have been great. Yeah, you guys really lost it. That would have worked. Yeah. yeah. Probably really sucks. Hello, cat. Hello. You stinky cat. cat. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Go be hungry. Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's out of mana. Weird. <laughs> the weirdest setting to find on a microwave would be a pre programmed button for. Drunk refrigerator raid, or a pre-programmed button for Austin so he can actually use it properly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to use a microwave? No, my old microwave is dumb, or my current one's dumb. You have to press the power button to put in a time. What? What yeah. tragedy? <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> You have to, wait, you have to press the power button to turn the time, to put it on time and then turn it on? 
Yep, you uh, if you want to put in the time, you hit the power button, and you put in the time, and you hit start. If I could turn oh, back yeah. time. If I could find a way. It's very strange to me that that's like the song you reference the most on this show. I love that song so much. Who sings that? Cher. Oh. Share. Say share. share again. Yeah. Share. I like the way you say share. If you want to survive prison, walk up to the scariest prisoner and fuck him gently, or walk up to the scariest prisoner and henlo them. <laughs> Is henlo different if you use it as a verb? No. I think to henlo someone is to give them the henlo script. Yeah. Does Cher have a Twitter? Yeah, she, she not... tweets with like 25,000 emojis every time she makes a tweet because she's 130 really? years old. Share Twitter is like its that's, own universe, that's dude. That's fucking badass. Share Twitter is current events. Really? Isn't there a fake shared Twitter that's really that's popular? Online. There's real share Twitter that's real share that's <laughs> insane. Really? <laughs> yeah. What is the is handle it, of what real is it? It's like twitter.com slash real share. The real like share. Real insane share. <laughs> Actual real insane share. More money, more financial security. Or more money, more bitches. Wow. Jeez. Um, we got adults versus children here. That's the argument. That's share. Wait, this is like she tweets in all fucking caps? Yeah, she's oh, a million yeah. years old, dude. That's so great. <laughs> oh, yeah, she does really use a. Off. She does use a million billion emotes should be prison time for go <laughs> and she used the she used the emote of a b for the b and a clock for time it's so much more work <laughs> it's one letter i'm surprised she could put those together it's artistic that way oh yeah wait did she use a toilet remember toilet yeah, remember, toilet has no moral compass, integrity, humanity, empathy. <laughs> Love for <laughs> USA. He's calling him toilet. She <laughs> calls him toilet. <laughs> I can't believe that I didn't realize the gold that was in their <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is going to be a jinx. The visual <laughs> aid just adds so toilet. much to it, Chad. If you're not there already, you got to go. Twitter.com <laughs> slash share. <laughs> what kind of uh oh where not here oh, damn it. what kind of hen lows should we expect on this one hen low sweet barrier you stinky barrier <laughs> What's uh what's Cher's favorite kind of computer program? Mm. What? Shareware. <laughs> oh. What's Cher's least favorite computer program? What? Malshare. <laughs> Democracy's <laughs> precious present. People have given their lives so you can be free. <laughs> Speak your <laughs> mind. Treat it with Stop respect. The mind plus. Use a safety be yourself. Be yourself. <laughs> it's so good. I have not seen a non-capital letter yet. Oh, oh. Uh, on March, March going, first. Going on March first, yeah. <laughs> yeah, March first. I just got there. Yeah. The worst thing an HR manager could wear: a shitty diaper or your clothes. <laughs> wow. What's the difference? Am I right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's very uncalled for. Burp, 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 burp. Nice <laughs> self roast there, man. E like this. Is that Segment three commentary here. Segment three is going to be me dying to the same boss in Fury the entirety of this entire hour. Hello, goodbye. Hello, you stinky goodbye. Go say goodbye, <laughs> ugly. Oh, Lord, that is... <laughs> the name of a conference where internet trolls gather. TwitchCon or MemeCon? Wow. That's their bo uh, I don't What's know if difference? I want to answer. TwitchCon? More like BitchCon. Oh. Nice. 
Hey, what's Cher's favorite convention, Bear? Uh, is it is it PAX? Yep. Nice. <laughs> she likes that it's not <laughs> it's not media focused. It's all about the general audience. It's just got a nice vibe that she likes. Good guess, glad, Bear. You know why? I'm glad she's so in tune with. Yeah, why? She's all about sharing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you brought it back. I so? brought it back. You brought it back. Oh, share. Turn back, share. <laughs> An item that never sells at a garage sale. Your ouya or toilets? What the fuck do I know? I'm a share. We've come too far. <laughs> <laughs> Again, what's the difference? <laughs> Chat, what's a Tangelo? Yeah. I'll cast you uh, 500 bits. Chat, why do I have to beat this guy like seven times and he can only beat me three times? <clears throat> it's not right. Hey, uh, Austin. You stinky Austin. <laughs> what's Cher's favorite fruit? <laughs> it's, it, what's your favorite fruit, Austin? What? I like this road. It's a Sherry. <laughs> Why wouldn't you say wine? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Why not Why not ask what a favorite wine is? <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah you, oh yeah, I took that very no, that's, that's, that's Okay. That's Cher's favorite kind of frozen idiot, snack like, is an icy. I thought you were like, well, she's an alcoholic, obviously, so... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why? <laughs> The next big craze for yuppies. Bottled calligraphy share tweets or bottled vegan mountain air? Y'all can't keep shoehorning in the share references. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> wait for it to propagate. Is there right. vegan mountain so dew? Probably. Uh, what's fair? <laughs> Sorry, scratch that one. All right. What, what, what's the what's the best kind of coffee to buy? When you when? By yourself? Oh yeah. What's Cher's favorite kind of coffee? Share trade. Song. Share trade. You got it. <laughs> What's Cher's favorite um, show to watch on <laughs> on Nickelodeon? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're really reaching this. It's double what share. It? Oh man, that's from Wait, 1992. What? Double <laughs> dare. Double share. Yeah. Oh. I remember watching Double Dare. I remember the Pie Machine. Yeah. The green white pie machine. is available. Yeah, yeah, it was like a fr wasn't. Like, they had, like, a pie roller coaster. Yeah, was that Double Dare, or was that What Would You Do? That was What Would You Do. That was What Would You Do. That was with Mark Summerall. He was Double Dare had, like, a big... That was with Donnie Jepko. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is Donnie Jepko? That sounds like the, the alias that Johnny Depp uses to check into a hotel <laughs> anonymously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I loved you in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, you must have me confused. My name is Donnie Jepko. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they remade What Would You Do? Yeah, I didn't know that. How would you spend your what, first day as what, US what, president? What would you do do? Current events or <laughs> toilet. <laughs> it's still oh my god, it's still going. That's crazy. Oh, that, that one's really good. Still going. Hey, uh, hey guys, what's Cher's favorite 1980s sitcom? A funny Cher? Cher's. Oh. <laughs> that, one, I really liked, that was really good chat. I like that one. Good times. Um, <laughs> that's the end of round two. When a, Let's when a company a goes public. No, okay. I think I know where this one's going. <laughs> <laughs> what do they start trading at? Hey, what's what's uh what's Cher's favorite weather forecast? Round three has arrived. Uh, last, 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 Sunny. Yay! There you go. Yeah. We, we broke the formula. <laughs> We're not out of share wordplay yet, are we? What is next a little upcoming more? quiplash response callback? What the fuck, I'm a share. <laughs> what's Cher's... <laughs> what's Cher's favorite file sharing network? <laughs> bear share. Nope. Share no, share. that's Bear's favorite. You, Austin yeah. got it. It's share share. <laughs> <laughs> share, share. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> what does Cher's sister do for work? She's a shareholder. Oh, 
Close. That's her cousin. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually a share dresser. <laughs> <laughs> Also, shares furniture that she has in her bedroom. <laughs> I don't know. I'm checked out a quip last night. All right. Comps are not nearly as funny as stupid shit we're talking about. Come That's up with true. a flashy wrestling move with this word in its name: spank that stank, puncturing the spank tank, share the sparkle share and spank, the stone cold Steve spank, or the five knuckle spank. Spank that stank. Spank that stank shit. Uh, oh, there's a good one in chat. What are they called? Uh, policemen in Texas. A sheriff. <laughs> who, just, who just put share? That's gotta be Austin. So what, like, if, What kind of cheese do you use in a traditional fondue? Gruy share. <laughs> so, when, when you're using a font that doesn't have like the shit at the end of the letter? <laughs> what is it? Sheriff? Oh my god. <laughs> Sand Sheriff. Great. This was a great show. <laughs> Where is Cher's favorite place to buy provisions on a military base? Uh, the commissary? The commissary! <laughs> <laughs> That is madness. I was like, <laughs> the BX? And then it makes sense. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you know what the BX is, though. It's was, over, let's see yeah, that's the, now it makes sense. Yeah, now that I thought about it for more than a half a second. Share almost one. Makes sense. <laughs> By the way, I can't believe that. Actually, Bear one. Yeah. Who's Share's favorite Quiplash player? Bear. <laughs> Do we Cher's really want to open that can of worms? Hero is Tracer, because she can turn back time. And it's Trey Cher. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to stop. All right, well, let's pick our channels. Why don't we start with Simvicta? Uh, hey, everybody, you can find me over at youtube.com slash Simvicta316. Not a biblical reference, by the way. And I also stream Wednesday through Saturday, twitch.tv slash Simvicta316. Simvicta316 just whooped your ass. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Stone Cold uh, said so. Share Taffy? <laughs> Sure. Hey, uh, stop me if you've heard this one before. I'm Bear Taffy. I'm going to be playing some Horizon Zero Dawn over at <laughs> twitch.tv slash Bear Taffy. <laughs> Come watch. All right, how about you, uh, Austin? I'm Austin. I'm still playing Zelda. If you want to come watch tomorrow, twitch.tv slash Zelda's last... real good, dude. Oh, it's really it's good. good. It is really good. Like <laughs> I, good. I'm going to hop right onto that bandwagon. It's fucking real good. It's amazing, and I'll be playing more of it tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Time, and I stream every single day at 1 p.m. Central Time, so come come watch hey josh hey uh twitter.com slash share <laughs> yep that's it huh <laughs> all right that's uh all nick to share with you oh. <laughs> that's all he's really gonna <laughs> oh, share <laughs> Everybody, Rockley Smile finally finished my Hollow Knight 100% playthrough, so we're gonna be starting up Night in the Woods, I think, next. Uh, I'm, as much as I'm loving this Fury game, like I'm not good enough at it, so I don't know. Seems very good. Seems very hard. Uh, but you can catch me on Twitch if you want to follow anytime, or you can uh, follow me on Twitter as well. Sorry, I'm trying to play this game at the same time. It's very difficult. No worries, Nick. Thanks for sharing. What if what if Sherry yeah, was like the leader of a large detective slash police it's force? Sherry Yard. Are you she'd, saying she'd be the commissioner? <laughs> commissioner. Co co Com commission Sherry. Commission Sherry. <laughs> I stole this wow. one from chat, but I really like it. It's um, what's Sherry's favorite brand of chocolate? Uh, I don't For, know. Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't there because uh, it's spelled share oh, oh what, all right Herrera what Rocher. does share <laughs> say to her boyfriend when she's ready to stop having intercourse how do you have more chaz <laughs> chaz bono she says honey nut Share Sherry <laughs> Wow. Wow. And the show. You had 40% of a joke there, and you still <laughs> went for it. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> hey, Kate! The hey, Brian Kate! Isaac Afterbirth Plus what Northern Brian hey. Plays episode 125. He's done it. Just went live via YouTube. <laughs> oh, who the <laughs> fuck watches it? that shit? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kate! Hey, Kate! Oh, I think he just left, right? I think okay. he just left. Yeah, he does that now. He because he's got to do his shout outs, so he just leaves. Oh no, he's in the call still. Yeah, hello. Oh, usually he says hey, goodbye. Kate. That's... Well, I didn't. I do say goodbye hey, before Kate. I'm about to leave. Kate's gonna go play Sonic, uh, the Hedgehog two at Twitch.tv slash Lovely Momo. Oh, that's weird. Wow, that's awesome. You know that what, game. Nick? Kate wants no. to know if you want to play. We need to go deeper, Austin. After an hour. And she says I, after I, that you can even play the game. <laughs> you need to go deeper. I need to go eat food. He needs what to I need go to eat food instead. Can Thanks I for the invite, Kate. I think that's a no, Kate. She didn't even say thanks for considering it. She just turned around and walked out. Can <laughs> his <laughs> fucking health just refill to full? Man, thanks a lot, Austin. Really appreciate tell, it. Tell her, you've made my life a lot easier tonight. Uh, thanks a lot. Tell buddy. her hello for me. I will tell her hello. Hello, Kate. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, you know, hang up on you guys and read the right. shoutouts. All right, thanks for being on the show. Bear's gonna be live. Yeah, playing Horizon Zero. Horizon. Go Bear. <laughs> Share Woo. Horizon Zero. Oh, did you hear that? For me, like my audio driver crashed or something, so we went. Ooh. Um. Hey, Streamlabs looks different today, so I'm trying to like make sure I've got this set up properly here. Okay, thank you to today's subscribers. Let me get chat open at the same time here. Share rear suicide, suicide share. This is too far. Um, for the bits side of things, thank you to Brotagonist, shoots a pee. Shoots a pee, sub the tank, Ergot Fantasy, William7154, add more coffee, and Frosty Jesus in particular. It was a very generous cheer. Thank you very much. Enjoy your spot at the top of the Twitch chat for the time being. And then on the subscription side, thank you to Judo Chop Madrina69, Vortka, Chuck Uppercut, Vertic Zero, Bob Bubzinski, Zimgamer9, Handsome Pants TM, Jax the Wanderer, K Krasinski, Green Lightning EA, Druid Prince, Nihilist AGS, Dippers Sum, or Dippers Yum, <laughs> Oh, I see Mudkips, Slappy Slap, thanks for the sub, you jackass, Mouthturbation, Rick Owns is usually what I wear, Nobody17, William7154, Irish Bucks fan, CHQK, CHKQ. He added a pronunci pronunciation note in there, which was hilarious as well. Okay, I'm going to try not to get mind flooded by all those uh, roo roo roos in chat. Here we go. Tell Ryan, Spleen Dude 999, I like to Vike, Drumpf Card, Sergeant Fappington's, Kaz Zero, Zan H, Bracker 11, T Gracchus, Two Sicilies, Delete Many, Pain Pajamas, Mel's, Arugula 1234, Jumbas, Firefox Ice, Franker's V's Kipo, The Motivated Gapes, Joe Bozich, Resident Triggered, Very Fieri, This One's Just an Underscore. Small Tomato, Red Death 6, Icarus Pie, 1510 Zillion, The Highlander, Big Dog WKD, Rumorkin, Tartarian Saint, Pondburb, Keblin, Not Biased, Imserial 25, or Imseral, Panos 9090, Enter the Gungeon, Souza 989, Kaladust, Lord Error Prone, NL Jesus Christ, it's pronounced Spatzel, not Spatazel. All right, fair enough. Feral Crowbar, Lord Error Prone 42, Radman Elite, Phony Hiccup, Mike Hawk's Crab Emporium, King Hawk, wait, that's two different names. King of Stars 1, NetHack Ascender, Ampersnad, Red Dumbs, Decession 1, Kid A, the Snarfster, Mr. Highway, Nightfire 355, Larry Garbage, Animator, Gastromedra, MWR 1021, Neon Tiger TV, I want to come in Dan Giesling, Pulse Lane, Scott Spud 91, Vishar, username 1432, Dave McQueen, Shane Dragon, YouTubist, Shoestain, Christmas 95, Christmas 95, Endless Walker, Yogi is Bar, uh, uh, Irish Wristwatch, it's a hard sentence to say, Adamant, Omega Damien, Mombic, 
Dirty Harry 5, Commander Cookie, Scenes on Toast, Sammy R2006, and M Concept. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing and cheering. And special thanks to those of you who watched without Adblock as well. Kate's going to be live after this playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Bark the shares away. Sherrero Rocher. Okay, I get it. Um, go watch Kate at twitch.tv slash lovelymomo, or go watch Bear at uh, twitch.tv slash bear taffy. Thanks for watching our show. I'll see you on uh, Wednesday for the NLSS. See you soon.